video and it, it literally just restarted it and it fixed but like it's really annoying that i tested it already and then it didn't work but it's okay oh wait we can run dark alley pack instead of the uh instead of the other thing bob wait 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 we actually this is this is a blessing in disguise it's a blessing in disguise we're gonna take these out we're also gonna take these out you're probably wondering what are we gonna run we're gonna run that and then we're gonna run a rust route viper at least one because well we kind of need it and then i'm honestly down to run something else as well uh what else do i want to run here actually nope that's not the card honestly two rust route vipers is fine the reason why i want to run rust route viper is because the thing that keeps freaking killing me is paladin but if i have the thing to destroy their um their weapon everything should be fine but now I need to go back to uh, the live stream thing and, and reset my thumbnail and all that, which is very annoying. But everything should be good. Everything should be good. I fixed my um I fixed my audio. Or at least I think I fixed my audio. Let me just uh, get rid of this. Why is this? Okay, we'll put this on that. Boom. Yeah, I don't think I really want to keep any of these cards, actually. I think primarily speaking, we want to try to find... Well, basically, Forge of Wills. Fracking's pretty good. You gotta be fracking kidding me, get it? Ha 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 ha. That was dumb, I apologize. Uh, we'll play it. I don't really care what I destroy. Mm. They're not gonna have any... Well, okay, we'll take Rustrat Viper in case it's Thief Rogue. Since I don't know what rogue they're going, because rogue has been all over the place recently, I do think having this... Well, I drew a second one, so it kind of defeats the purpose. But the point is, I'm glad I have one. And then I'm going to basically trade it away. Shiny. No paladin, we are blessed. Look, the paladins do not want to face me. I, I, I know how to beat paladins. I played against enough of them. They're basically, they're child's play. Child's play. Hmm. I'll trade away a Rust Rock Viper. We got Sargeras, okay. So now all we need to do is find the Wheel of Death and I think we just win the game. Let me just do that. Let me, did I put the thumbnail in? Oh wait, no I didn't because this is, I had to restart my stream. Okay, cool, everything should be set up. They are running it. Boom, boom, bada boom, pow. Uh, let me see here. Do I want to just play the weapon and then play this? The answer is kind of yeah. Do I want to play the Rustra Viper at this point? Or do I want him to commit a couple of spells? Let's let him commit a few spells. Let's let him commit a few spells. I'll fracking this, I guess. I don't really care about anything at the bottom of my deck at this point. These aren't really going to be that useful. Death Rattle, shuffle something into your deck. I mean, this is fine. I mean, table flip, I, this is the thing. I don't know exactly this matchup, right? So I don't know exactly how, I'll, I'll take Zilliax. It's, it's, I think it's good. We've got removal with, with eradication, two of them. We've got the Symphony of Sins. We've got Sargeras eventually. I think it'll be nice to play Rust Rot Viper next turn. Sonia's fixed now, so you can beat Rogue easy. I mean, that's the hope, I guess. Haven't attacked at all. Hmm. Siphon Soul doesn't really feel very good to me. I want the thing that deals six damage. Shit. That's really bad. Well, we got a Rust Rot Viper, and since it's zero, fine, screw it. We'll just throw it down and kill the weapon. It doesn't really matter. We have a second one. See, I'm not used to this deck. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, actually. Maybe I'm no, I think I'm supposed to wait to play that until after I've gotten my wheel of death. But the problem is, I don't know if I just have this like infinite amount of time, right? Like I've got to do stuff or else they are going to hit me and eventually win the game. So I think that it was right to do that, but we'll figure it out. We'll again, we're still learning the deck. It'll be okay. Oh my goodness gracious, you're kidding. I play Doomkin. 
Ah, uh, okay. Ouch, that hurts. Uh, you're a very good card, but I'm still pretty sure that I just played Doomkin, and I pass. Doomkin's very nice. Uh, we'll have eight mana next turn. We can do quite a few things, actually, which I'm pretty happy about. So Garrus will be our turn nine play. We'll just start generating infinite taunt minions, and it should be decent. Um, Son of a bitch. Okay, that's not good. Do I ever just play double mortal eradication? Interesting. I can kill that, but then I only have two mana left, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure he's going to play the Doomkin next turn to get rid of my mana crystals. So I think I'm pretty okay with this, actually. I think this is fine. And then this will give me a uh, Mortal Coil to kill the 4-1. Uh, the then they're gonna play Doomkin and then trade here, and then I, I'm fine after that. It's not that big of a deal. Like, it's annoying, but it's fine. Like, you have to play the Doomkin here, right? There's no way you don't. So I felt relatively safe making that play, actually. That's fine. Holy shit, we just drew you again immediately? Is that good to just play this, or should I just play, like, Mortal Eradication plus this and Life Tap? Thinking it's, I'm thinking it's this, because I want to set up for um, Sargeras next turn to get a big 6-12 uh, Taunt Rush minion, and this heals me actually, so we'll do that. Drawing at the end of the turn like a boss. Try No Hands Gamer's version of the deck, I climbed to 300 Legend, this is his version of the deck. Unless he has a new version that came out between yesterday and today. Which I guess could have happened. But this is the version that uh, he ran very recently. What the heck? Wait, what was that? What were you? What did you just do? Could be a freezing trap. Wouldn't be thrilled if it's freezing. Wouldn't like it if it's freezing, but we also know that like it doesn't really matter. They'll have taunt. I'll overdraw one card. Okay, sick. He's gonna get hidden meanings, but that's okay. Ooh, that's a decent card, actually, if he has any frost spells that he randomly generates, and then this has to be explosive trap after that. So your 30th birthday today? First of all, awesome. Second of all, you're old. Third of all, you're not actually old. I don't know why I said that. But wheel is super busting cool, but it gets boring to play or it gets boring to play with and it's even worse to play against I mean, it's got some definitely really annoying stuff. Oh, that's kind of annoying as well Kind of rude Can you hit me in the face? I mean, we still keep this restaurant viper in my hand You're gonna go face? Why are you going face, dude? Kind of kind of weird I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit. This is a little bit weird. Sure, I'm fine with that. Are you gonna rush into anything? If not, I'm just gonna drain soul this. You are the shadows okay, I will have to drain soul this then. Wait, what? That doesn't really matter too much, I guess. Kill that off, burn their cards, and then... What do I get rid of? Okay, eh. So far, not super useless. That's pretty good. That is helpful, and then that's also helpful. We'll summon two six sixes as well, and then we'll get a three four. This is going pretty well, I would say. How um how good is this deck against Paladin, by the way? We need a deck tracker on our phones, like the app, dude. A deck tracker on phones will be busted. Interesting. Oh, you get two of them though Sure, okay sick 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 awesome. That's beautiful. That's what you want to see Dagger master oh no Interesting Hmm I mean I can get a six eight mmm Let's 
Let's just do that. I don't really need to life tap here. But I will. I'll do that and then I'll just equip to new one of these. It's it's fine. It's actually not that big of a deal now that I think about it. It basically is just free stats. Again to an early stream. Good luck, have fun. Don't spin the wheel too much. I'm gonna spin the wheel to my heart's content, okay? I'm feeling lucky today. Oh shit! Oh no. That is devastating. And it's been it was forged. Okay. No, that's actually pretty spicy. Do they have a shadow step or break dance? We burned a shadow step and they don't have break dance. Or they used a break dance, so I meant to say. Okay, we've got another Rust Rot Viper for that, and they do have Shadow Step. Or they have a Break Dance. Eh. A little bit annoying for sure, but it's fine. No, no problem. No problem. What are you? Explosives, fine. I don't take damage on my turn. Oh, you actually made contact. That's sick. I'll just eat everything. I don't think it's really that big of a deal. I just want him to be able to attack soon. So I'm thinking it's you. Actually, did I need to eat? Yeah, it was It was too big for mortal eradication to actually do anything. I guess it could have been wrath. Shit, if it had been wrath, I win. Actually, I can still win. No, we still win. We just uh, we just trolled a little bit. We did a little bit of, we, we trolled a little bit. That's okay. Okay, uh, then we deal six damage, and then we deal six damage. Okay, it's fine. We got the lethal there. I was, I really want to destroy his weapon, but, uh, that's better. <laughs> Winning the game is just better. Surprised more people aren't playing Tentacle Warlock or Warrior? I wanted to play it. No, I, I do still just want to play it in general. Goodbye, Silver Loop. Pest should be a forge card, target enemies of Abel. That'd be kind of cool. But. Nemzi versus Morgul. Let's dive in. <laughs> ah. All right, so I'm thinking we keep the wheel. Um, I'm kind of thinking we keep the dark alley pact as well. What could they be running as a uh, shaman? They're probably going battle cry related stuff. So I don't think I need to necessarily rush the board. Two dark alley packs, count them two. That's pretty good. Destroy the weapon <laughs> when you destroy, you destroy the weapon when you destroy the hero. Oh, I should have kept Hellfire. All right, so we're in a bit of a pickle because he just drops that out. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, you're going like pure aggro. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody, 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 everybody calm down. This is a bit of a problem. Is what I would say if this was a problem at all. We've killed that, lowers that attack. No problem. Also, this is a one mana weapon, by the way. I thought this was a two mana weapon. No way. Oh, you're kidding. There's no shot, you just got that. Omega high rolled me. Oh, it hurts. Uh, we'll play this next turn on turn four for two mana. I'm hoping he commits more to the board, but this is kind of a disaster. Do I even need a table flip? It might just be better to dark alley packed, actually. I think it's just better to do that. I don't know what cards they run. What is this? Oh my gosh. The high roll did an extra four damage to me. If I end up losing this game by four damage, I'm going to be tilted. Oh, shit. That's fine. Sure. Okay, ow. I'll kill you, I guess. Um, do I want to coin out Loken? The answer is no, I don't actually. I think that doing that would be a mistake. So I'm just gonna do this because I want to coin out um, Wheel of Death, I think. Should I have killed this? Oh God, I'm so doomed. 
I'm gonna get bamboozled, aren't I? I think it's actually worth it to kill the zero one next turn. How much do you think this deck will hold on? Wait, what do you mean? For how much do you think this deck will hold on? I don't, I don't understand your question. No, we got him. Oh, which means you're significantly worse. Ugh. Hmm. Cause I wanna coin out this. Oh god, am I dead next? I could just be dead next turn. I I think that I am dead next turn. That's so crazy, dude. Oh man, I'm actually gonna die. I, I'm calling it now. He's gonna have four damage more than he needs. No. No shot. No way. I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe it. No way. No way. Stop. Stop. Seriously. No, actually, I'm not even kidding anymore. Stop. 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 Stop it. Stop right now, you piece of shit. There's no way he the four damage actually mattered with the high roll. Oh my god. I'm actually pissed. I mean, to be fair, they should have totemed first. They should have totemed first, 100%. Um. Uh, because if they got the spell damage totem, the four damage wouldn't have mattered. I mean, yeah, it's it's less likely, but they still should have done it to see if they got the extra damage. There's no way. There's no way. Nemzi versus Scarlet. I don't think I need Rushrod Viper in this matchup. I don't think so, and I don't think I want Phantom either. I think there are a lot of way, way, way better cards. Really, you're my number one kept card? I'm still... What weapons do they run? They don't run any. They don't run any weapons. I'm about to get bamboozled. There's like a weapon I'm forgetting, and I'm going to get absolutely swindled. Come. No, I'm not going to end stream after that loss, although it was very tilting. Oh my gosh. But happy birthday, Perry. Happy birthday. Fracking, eh, play that turn three. I wouldn't mind. I would be inclined to life tap and play that and then this on four. Um, the file's looking pretty gosh darn good if I can draw that. No, 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 not you. Hmm, well, we already have a turn five and a turn six play. So I don't really need you. I think what I need is removal so I don't die. Like, yeah, this can get me Sargeras, but it could also low roll and hit you. You and you. I don't know. The problem with this is I already have a six mana play and if I... I mean, it's good. It's still really, really good. We'll lose that. We have a lot of other removal in the deck. I'll just do this. We can play this eventually. We'll probably play Dark Alley Pact. Oh, it hurt. I hurt my brain. That hurt my soul. Summons me an 8-8. It's definitely not bad, though. Four mana 8-8 with taunt that can attack is just insane. Besides Paladins, what deck do you think is, is worth a craft? I mean, Hunter, I think, is quite strong. I think Wheel Warlock is pretty good. Fuck off, dude. I mean, I knew that was gonna happen. I just need the file more than, like, anything. The file is literally the perfect removal, and I've searched for it quite significantly. Son of a bitch. One, one, one. You didn't get it. They, they have poisonous, but they'll die next turn, so it's fine. Oh, that won't die next turn. That was kind of stupid of me. 
I should have killed that up first. No defiles crazy though. Oh. I've gone through 15 cards in my deck. It's just unfortunate. Also, no Forge of Wills is a little bit unfortunate. Although, it wouldn't have mattered as much with the poisonous minions on the board. One more death can't hurt. I smell gold in their okay. waters. I mean, playing Doomkin at this point just sucks. Throws quite a few cards here. Oh, thank you, Defile. You're so awesome. Five, six damage. They need to not have six more. Fuck it. I'm down to risk it. I'm down to risk it for the biscuit. Sure. From South France at the moment. I, okay, sick. I, that's awesome. <laughs> I've been to France one time. I went to Paris with my family. It was fantastic. Ty's posted a Warlock deck on Twitter today, and I've been doing pretty decent with it. I mean, that's awesome. I think Warlock is a pretty decent deck right now, just in general. I think it's a really good class. I converted a van from scratch, so living and traveling here with my dog. Wait, what the fuck? Hold on! Okay, it's fine. That's actually not a big deal at all. One, two, there is, there, there just is no three. No way I can make a three. The file goes hard here, actually. That resummons, then that's a three, then it kills those off. Okay, so basically what I need is to not die here. And to not die, I think getting a taunt minion is probably for the best. So hopefully we get Sargeras. Sure, 612 taunt, not bad. They overdrew a weapon, that's huge. I also get to maybe heal in a little bit with this. No, buddy, 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 you're gonna deal three damage to me a turn. Okay, hold on, I might need to do this. Wait, I actually might need to just play this. No, I think getting infinite taunt minions. Wait, shit, I die this so much. Do I have to just play Reno for HP? Do I have to just play Reno for HP? I'm just gonna, okay, I'm banking on the fact that they don't have direct damage. They have this three damage here, but then I can heal up with Reno and a Drain Soul, possibly. Oh my gosh, if I had drawn Defile like one turn sooner, I'm actually fine. That's so tilting. No, stop. Please, don't have, don't have lethal. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, this is fine. Wait. Wait, you're active? Oh shit, you're active. All right, I'll play that, sure. I don't really need to remove anything. I'm just doing this so I don't die. Two six sixes. Schmack, schmack, schmack. Honestly, just kill my own minion to heal up a little bit more, just to make sure I don't die. I'm be honest, that's sick. That's really good. I'm in a great spot. I went from about to die to I'm chilling. No high the Highlander was actually active, which is just nuts. I can't believe that it was active. No, uh, you get to Ugh. Gross. Remnants of life. It was we we drew the perfect card. Uh, I can destroy the weapon and then also kill this off, which I think is the play here, because I do want to heal up a little bit more. I need this to die. Let's, uh, let's kill that. I still die to a lot of different things here. Oh, he 
Sword drew the head. That's so sick. He doesn't have enough mana to play his big spell yet, his 10 mana spell. And I think that my board's big enough to just win. I feel confident. I feel quite confident, but also scared. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. That's so lame. But, it, but I think at least two of my minions live. Two of my minions will live. That's frustrating, but still it... Oh, it's got poisonous too. Oh, only one minion lives. Oh, shit. Hellfire heals me. 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 Hmm. What do I get? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. If I got plus six, plus six. Okay. I don't need to play Hellfire then. I should have done that first, because if I got plus six, plus six, it would have been really, really relevant. It kills off my own minion, which is fine. Uh, boom, and then I'm going to play Rust Rot Viper, just to get a minion on the board. I don't think he plays a weapon. Shoot, it's going to be a lifesteal thing, though. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I threw. Because the thing has lifesteal. How many corpses has he spent? He's only spent like eight. Okay, that's fine. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I played that poorly. I should have played Doomkin. I mean, hold on. Doomkin did block it. You're right. Womp womp. I mean, I still win. Doomkin would have denied it. Then I only have four mana left, and I need to figure out a way to kill off the other uh, two four. Shoot that. No. Hit. Hit. I mean, I would have done significantly less damage, and he probably would have lived an extra turn anyway. I don't know if playing Doomkin was correct there, because he hadn't played, like, any corpses, so I don't think it would have mattered. Am I wheeling? I mean, I haven't wheeled a single time, but I'm trying. I don't think, I don't think it's correct, because, like... <clears throat> they spent no corpses. It's not like I'm dead there. All right. Mm. I might need the healing. I mean, this is all just... Uh, the problem with this is I'm going to be playing this. So that initially means table flip isn't as good. I'm going to keep none of these. I think they're better cards. Fracking's good. But the other two cards, I think they're just better options that I can try to look for. Maybe I'm being greedy, I don't know. I think Doomkin's better than Phantom. No, Phantom's probably better. No, I need to file. Look, last time I didn't have to file and I almost How lost. I don't think that matters too much. Because if he plays mining casualties, the file wipes pretty much their entire board, and it's fine. We got a Doomkin anyway. We have two Doomkin, so it doesn't matter. Losing Phantom did suck, but without having Forge of Wills, Phantom is significantly weaker. I think that's fine. Don't get me wrong, I love Phantom. I think it's a great card, but... Mining Casualties is such a solid card. Dude, Mining Casualties is so good. It's nuts. Mining Casualties is like one of the best two drops ever printed. <laughs> that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but you get what I'm trying to say. It is incredible. That one card 
is not only two one one, so it's like a one mana two two, sure. But it also has a death rattle that summons other things that has a minion type. It generates four corpses for death knight, two silver hand recruits for um. Oh shit! How do I deal with this? So they're gonna develop quite a big board here. I can kill it off with this and that, but I don't really want to. Maybe I just do fracking, see what's at the bottom. Mm, we already have a turn six play. So do I want to take this to try to discover Sargeras on seven? I mean, Sargeras is gonna be really, really good. I, I, I do just think Sargeras is insane, so let's do that. I don't want to overdraw, so let's just do this, and then we will pass, because I don't want to overdraw. What if I put the, um... What if I put the 2-3 the that increases my hand size and stuff? That is not the card I expected to see, actually. I did not expect that. I really expected them to play the little 1, which they can still play. But I forgot that Maw and Paw exist. A little bit silly. We got the Wheel of Death. Doomkin's pretty nice. Well, now if I play this, it's just useless. Oh, man. And by it's just useless, I mean, um, Loken's useless. So do I play Wheel of Death on 10? I might play Wheel of Death on 10. Okay, this is a bit of a problem. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is a bit scary. The position that I'm currently in. Because you can give things poisonous. This one, two, uh, can I get? I don't think I can play Wheel of Death. I think it's you, and then we just get Sargeras. The problem is if I, okay, so this goes down to two, and then I don't have a one or a three. Shoot. If I play you and I try to get Sargeras, I think that's still fine. It's either that or do this to try to deal six damage everything, but no, I think I've got to try to get Sargeras and play him next turn. How much damage do I take? Two, so it's eight, 10, 12 fucking damage. Assuming they kill this. I've just got to hope that they don't kill it. I can kill that, which is fine. But I don't think that I'm in the position to play the Wheel of Death. I just don't think that I can do that. God damn it, he had it. Oh. I mean, again, I play Sargeras, I suck the board, but like, dude. Oh my gosh, I was so... Oh, oh he had it. Wheel would have killed your tempo. I mean, yeah, I know. I've got to play Sargeras next turn and suck the board. I'm at 10 HP. I lost a Forge of Wills, which is kind of a big deal, but this is still good. Uh, suck. Big suck. Sure, that's fine. I don't think they have a way of doing 10 damage to me. If they can kill my 612, I want... I think I play Wheel next turn. I have to play wheel next turn. Wheel just opens up so many opportunities. It allows me to play. Sure, okay. Oh God, this feels so wrong to do this. But like next turn I'll play Symphony of Sins and I should be fine. I need them to have taunt going forward. Oh, oh God. 
Do I kill? I guess I kill a 3-2. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, it sucks. Okay, I just need to not die this turn. Okay, I need one turn. I just need one turn to stabilize and we're good to go. Thank you for the membership. Um, Camel, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Ecor, you looked great at 24p, no joke. Well, I appreciate that, I think. I think I appreciate that. I'm gonna say I appreciate that. That's nice. Oh, no. Okay, so we have to play Symphony of Sins next turn, and then this can get me a Siphon Soul to kill that, which I think is really important. Ow. We don't need to play Reno yet. Uh, how many spots do I have? I'm gonna send this in and then that in. Um, I'm gonna say this is actually fine. As opposed to removing cards. I think more tempo is better. Then boom, and then we'll get Siphon Soul to heal three. We're at 12, which is actually relevant for sure. And then, I guess, bonk, bonk, go face. Okay, so I don't lose in fatigue. I just need to heal up and not die that way. So how many corpses have they spent? They've spent 10, 20 in total so far, I think, roughly. Just fine. It's fine. How's the salt today? I never salt. What are you talking about? How's the salt? What kind of question is that, man? There's never any salt here. This is a salt-free zone. Now you can Reno. Now I think I probably Reno next turn. Because that way if they play the one card to flood the board, they're not actually going to be able to flood the board. Nothing will happen. Which will de-incentivize? De de-incentivize. Disincentivize? English is hard. But it'll, it'll make them not want to play the play. But yeah, that's just really good. And then we'll get a new hero power, which I like. I don't really want to draw a card. Um, I think that that's uh, not good. Actually, I only have like three turns left. I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We're mostly, we're, we're pretty close to winning, I would say. We just need to survive like two more turns and we're good. Should be easy enough. Don't kill me. Don't do 17 damage to me though, please. Oh no! Salt free zone. Remember when you played nature? Played against the nature OTK shaman. Look, man, the nature OTK shaman was just a stupid deck. Okay. His entire hand was. He had literally exact lethal. What do you want from me? Of course, I'm gonna be a little bit salty about that one. Okay. I, I I get a free pass. I basically just need to live. This heals me the most possible amount of HP. Doing it this way. That heals me the most possible amount of HP. I could have just done Siphon Soul, but that doesn't heal me nearly as much. It heals me three. That healed me six. Just trying to make sure that I cover all of my bases and not die this turn. Uh, to add insult to injury, I'm just gonna wipe this entire board. <laughs> Take a good look. You ain't never seen them. Oh no. Oh never mind. we win. I don't know why I said I oh no, the, that was just free. Okay, maybe Wheel of Death is kinda of broken. You got me. You clear if he doesn't have an insane spell, which he doesn't. No yeah. I mean he does have an insane spell, he just like it would have to all have gone into damage somehow, which like statistically is one in a million. <laughs> I have to leave then? <laughs> Nemzi versus Garion Mugrain. So yesterday it was all against paladins, today it's all against death knights. That's crazy. I don't think I need any of these cards. I don't keep Sargeras. None of these cards are good. Like they're all good, but they're not keepable cards. I need to find other things. 
actually pretty good. I can coin this out. Let me think. What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no. I actually don't think I play fracking right away. You're probably wondering why, don't you wanna draw cards? Excellent question. The reason is because I want them to shuffle more plagues into my deck so I can then play fracking and hopefully destroy a couple. This also means they're not going the version of the deck that runs, um. They're not going the version of the deck that runs the, the guy that gives undead minions poisonous, which means I can play this. I can coin this out and it's not gonna die. But then again, maybe I just do this life tap next turn and then I'll play this for it's just on its own. This is doing some damage to me, but I don't really care. Anti-fun player detective, what are you talking about? I'm not anti-fun, you take that back. I'll coin this out on five. So this is on four, coin this out on five and make him cry. You can cleanse your deck with the wheel. The problem with that is if they play Helia and then I play the wheel and then they put plagues into my deck after, I'm guaranteed to draw those plagues every single turn infinitely. So that's not great. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, that means I can't play Dark Alley Pact, but I guess Defiled's fine, whatever. And then I have one mana left, so I guess I'll do this. So we're gonna take the Wheel of Death, uh, mostly because it's broken and we wanna get rid of plagues. I need them to play Helia first. Dude, they're probably holding Helia in their hand waiting for me. Oh my god. Stop. We got Symphony of Sins though? You're joking. Wait, this is actually really, really good. So we play this and then we instantly just play Symphony of Sins. And yeah, we'll take some damage, but who cares? It's not about how much damage you take, it's about how much Oh my gosh, they didn't play Hell yeah. Oh, it sucks ass. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, huh? Three damage and shuffle more plagues into my deck? Dude. Oh, are you in for a rude awakening? Oh, are you in for a rude awakening? Boom. Mortal eradication kills everything. Oh, that does have a death rattle. Which is. Do I ever life tap here? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I don't want to accidentally draw a plague. If I life tap, there's a higher likelihood I get a frost plague, which means Wheel of Death won't be able to go off. So please just no frost plague. You already drew me a frost plague on my turn four, which I really didn't want. No frost plague is huge. Please don't kill me. I'm out of cards. Shut up, Nemzi. We know you're out of cards. This whole point of Wheel of Death, okay? We're about to pop the heck off. They've already shuffled in several different things of putting plagues in. There's no way they have more plagues. Yeah, that's what I thought, Nimrod. Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, God, and they're infinite. Oh, God, that's so much damage. Oh, good Lord. Oh, wait, I didn't take damage for one of them, actually, which is okay. No! No, no! Reno's not fucking active? Holy shit. Wait, I I think I lose, actually. Like, unironically, I think that's fucked. Wait, unironically, I think that is so bad for me. Wait, that's so bad! There's duplicates! Oh no! That's so bad. This is why I run twisting over Reno. I mean, I still have two twisting nethers here and here. Like I'm, I'm actually fine. Like it doesn't matter. Oh gosh. I just need to get the one that heals me for six. 
Hmm, that is not the one that I wanted, actually. Fun fact, uh, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this. And we're gonna pass. All right. A couple more turns. I could just play Reno. I could have just played Reno that turn, actually, to get a new hero power. Should I have done that? No, it probably was Reno this turn, actually. I mean, getting two minions out on the board is nice, but they die. They can die to a lot of different things. You can play Reska and steal one. It should have been Reno to get... The runes beside your foot. Sure. Sure, that's fine. I Siphon Soul it. I don't even need the Twisting Nether. Siphon Soul is literally better for me because it heals me three. One mana? Okay. You do kill my minion. That's literally better for me. We'll burn some of their cards. Just decent in general. Not bad. The runes decide your fate. Reno for the armor and hero power? No, yeah. I think getting the two minions out on the board were okay, but I forgot that I don't need to actually do damage. I just win the game in a little bit, right? So what I should have done was I should have just played Reno for five armor. It was more immediate HP game. Uh, I do want to win the game as Reno though, so I'm going to play him. Um, even though you ruined it with your stupid blood plague, you jerk. Discover a spell. And then we'll end turns. We'll uh, get a demon. It doesn't really matter. Let's freaking go. Wheel of death. It's beautiful. That is a, that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Wow, oh, chef's kiss. You always love the wheel. I mean, I didn't love the wheel at first. I thought the wheel was kind of dumb, but then turned out it was kind of broken. Ooh, no. Okay, so it literally comes down to who gets it out first, and because he has the coin, I think that means he wins. So we need to just hard mulligan for it because the only way we win is if we get it first, which it doesn't look like we're going to get it first. I don't think I need to play this yet. There's no reason to. I'd rather keep my hand a little bit more full for like a table flip later on. Yeah, I don't have high hopes for this game because it's a mirror match, but because they have the coin, they literally win. The only way we can win is if we play Symphony of Sins and we happen to burn the wheel. I think that's literally the only way that we can win, is if we get really lucky. So we have the wheel in our hand, which means it cannot get burned from me, which is good. But again, the problem is there's a lot of ways we can still lose. We're going to do this. We're going to hero power. Hold on. This is pretty nice. We got a fracking. Let's play it. Do I want another harp? The answer is not really no. I don't really want any of these cards, to be honest with you. At least the... Because, like, table flip... I don't really need that removal. I'm just going to go with the harp, I guess, actually. We don't need the removal. The game's going to end with this anyway. We might as well just go for something that, like, allows me to empty my hand a little bit, I guess. I don't know. We can siphon soul whatever he ends up summoning. He's not summoning anything. Done. This mirror, like, 30 times in Legend, 250 times over the last three days. 250 times over the last three days. Jeez, Louise, how much are you playing? 
I mean, I've played a lot because this is my job, and I don't even think I've played 250 games fucking total. Dude, there's no way you've played that many games. I've only played about 150 games total. Okay, so they wasted the coin, which means that in theory they should lose. What do I care the least about? I kind of don't want to over... Oh, they could play the fucking Doomkin. Because I don't have it. We found the Doomkin. Okay. That's really big. We don't want to overdraw those, so we're going to do that. Actually, I don't know if overdrawing really matters. But we get to play the Doomkin first because they wasted their coin. I don't think they realize how important the coin is in this matchup. They literally could have just won the game with the coin. But they just chose not to use it for some reason. Play 290 games since the expansion came out. Oh, 30 mirrors. 30 mirrors in Legend 250. Okay, my bad. I misread something. My goodness gracious. But still, 30 mirrors is a lot. 290 games played is insane. I've only played 150, and again, this is my profession. But yeah, they, they threw this matchup. In this matchup, it should have been free. For oh, shit. They're not going to summon the other one is, is just interesting to me. If I play this, I think I still lose because I can't play the wheel. Because I have to play the Doomkin, because they'll play the Doomkin next turn and do a lot of damage. Hmm. I think it has to be the Doomkin. I can't play Twisting Nether next turn. I still can't play Twisting Nether next turn. I put in Reno instead of Twisting Nether because I think it, it scales better, like, into most matchups. But in this particular instance... It's not good. Because they just get Siphon Soul. If I play this, they just get Siphon Soul and I lose anyway. Yeah, it's GG. I think I need to take out Reno. That's two times now where having Reno instead of twisting another lost me the game. I'm gonna take out Reno Reno for a twisting nether. Maybe two twisting nethers. Is that overkill? I feel like that's overkill. This is good early removal, but I also feel like it's been kind of useless. Taking out Reno's insanity. I've literally lost two games because Reno was not twisting nether. 
Well, it gets rid of locations. You know what? We'll get we'll keep Reno, but we'll take out Hellfire for it. And this way we have at least one twisting nether. That should have been a fine game. That should have been a free game. They fucked it so hard. But Twisting Nether is so important. They honestly fucked it so hard. Um, <sighs> Restaurant Viper could be interesting in this matchup. I'm not going to keep it, though. There are definitely better cards. There are definitely way better cards. Twisting Nether's nice. I don't want to play this right away, but it's okay. Do you miss Renathal? Mm, moderately, yeah. I think I think Aggro is very very strong, uh, and and having Renathal would definitely make it a lot easier. But yeah, this this uh, I think running Twisting Nether is so important. Twisting Nether is like the most important card. Uh, I'll take. We already have a Defile. This is a great card, but I think Sargeras is just better, honestly. It's just, it's Sargeras. It's infinite taunt minions, it's a board wipe, it's really good. But yeah, I've lost two games because I didn't have Twisting Nether on eight. I had Reno, which wasn't active. I had Sargeras, and then I had Gul'dan's Gift plus Twisting, so I needed to run at least one. And again, I'm 100, I'm legitimately down. I'm legitimately down to take out Reno for Twisting Nether. Because I think having the removal is more important than Reno, except for the fact that he gets rid of locations, which is relevant. So maybe I can take out a Rust Rot Viper for another Twisting Nether if I feel like I really need it. But Twisting or uh, but Rust Rot Viper does really well against Paladin though. Mysterious. Okay, I'm fine with that. We're gonna we're not gonna do anything. I don't really care about that. That's fine. Could have been hidden meaning, but it wasn't. I think I do take out one Rust Rot Viper for another Twisting Nether. Like, that might be overkill, but I feel like it just is really good into every single matchup in the game. Right now. Well, there are some OTK decks, but almost every matchup in the game, I feel like, like Paladin, Death Knight, and Hunter, three of the best decks in the game right now, lose to Twisting Nether. Do you have Sometimes. Which Zilliax would you recommend? Uh, the Zilliax that shuffles itself back into your deck is really good in this one. We'll do that. And then we'll kill one off. This is kind of bad because he can just hit here and then Bladestorm, which is obviously suboptimal, but it, it is what it is. It gives me good board presence. If he doesn't have it, then it's really strong. And if he does have it, well... Wait, okay, so him slamming it means that he doesn't have it, which is good. Execute? Okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. I raise you fold. Loken draws you Phantom or Sargeras. No, that's true. That's why Loken's in here. Speaking of which, um... Eh, it's just really good removal. We'll do that. Life tap second like an absolute madman. Twisting Nether doesn't destroy portal. That's why we still have Reno. Because Reno does destroy the portal and some locations and dormant minions in the mirror match and other things. Ooh, no. That's not good. Oh, dear God. Not this. Not this again. Not tendrils, although I do really want to play the tendril deck. I think it could be really fun. Oh! Give me phantom, please. No! This is fine though. It dies, but it doesn't matter. 
We literally just play this next turn with the coin, then we can play this. It's actually still perfectly fine. I don't think I care too much. And then we can play, um... Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's very bad. Oh, that's not good at all. <laughs> we still have a 15... Fi don't hit the eight. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. You're so stupid! Uh, I actually lose, man. Okay, there could still be a world where that, okay. Harmonic pop? Oh my God, he wipes my entire board. You're kidding me. That's nuts. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. If we play the harp, it means that we don't really take fatigue damage. We still got Sargeras as a board wipe. We've got at least one Twisting Nether as a board wipe. I mean, you're board locked right now. Your board is locked right now, my friend. I think I can just, no, I guess I can play you. It does possibly keep it from hitting my face a bunch of times. I'm moderately okay with this. Well, no, I don't need to. Again, he's board locked. So unless he kills off his own board, this is fine, right? Like I don't mind this too much. I guess he could kill off his own board, but I, I'm not even at risk of dying necessarily. Even if he gets Wheel of Death with the Tendrils, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, he does kill off his own minion. Fuck. <sighs> he was Highlander and he... I don't know. Maybe the Phantom would have been good to just play. My only worry is he was going to kill it really easily. But maybe he wouldn't have killed it super easily. But it was only 7 damage and it would have given him more... Oh, no. So that's scary. All right. So I think I want to play this. And then I think I want to play this and you. Twisting Nether doesn't do anything. Those, those tendrils are going to start going crazy though. If it hits the 5-4 one time, we're happy. Okay, cool. Then we can do this. And then we can still play this. And we can play you, I guess, which is fine. All right, so we can wipe the board two more times. We just need to not take too much direct damage. And we should be okay. Just don't kill me, and we're fine. Just don't kill me. So it's 7-8, and then it's a 9-10. Sure. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. I mean, mine literally finishes first, but okay. So then he gets another one, and then it gives him a nine and a 10. I don't remember all the nines, but it could be useless. And then 10 could be really, really good, but then I just play Sargeras and I wipe his board, right? What are you doing? Holy shit, I lost. His board was locked, which is interesting. I play Sargeras. No, I didn't lose. Because this, I, I think sucking doesn't trigger the death rattle. Okay, cool. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're okay. I don't, I'm not going to say we've won, but I think that we are at least okay. So he has one more tendril. I think. Oh, no. What a disaster. What an absolute disaster. The Scourge got good hits, but Sargeras countered it. I don't know what's in his ETC. What if it's Reno?
Don't get the 10, okay, table flip's fine. Okay, that's, okay. I need you to not get table flip, please. We've created a temporal anomaly. Okay. Damn, GG. They have to Omega low roll for this to be a, a G Ugh. Shit. How did I lose that, man? That's fucking lame. I feel like the Forge of Wills is just an insane card, and I'm down to keep fracking as well, just because it'll it'll give me a good card. Rustrap Viper's okay. I could play that. Actually, no, I'm never gonna play that because turn three is always Forge of Wills. So that way we can set up for something big. Um. Ooh. I think it has to be table flip. I think I need the removal. We already have a forge and we don't have a minion. I think table flip has to be the one because they could flood the board. Like against a hunter, the win condition is not wheel of death. The win condition is controlling the board and killing off as many things as I can. Um, Reno is frustrating. Oh gosh. This hand is bad. This hand is really bad. This hand is really, really bad. Defiled's really good. Okay, so the question is, am I down to take that much damage? And the answer is yes. I can play Defile next turn. I'm only gonna take, well, only gonna, I'm only gonna take seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. No one's going to believe this. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, goddamn, that is so much damage. I'm already basically dead, that's nuts. Defile into this to kill off that one. Dude, what am I supposed to do? He's just able to run me down. That's so bad. I have to use my other removal spell too. I have to use table flip next turn or I'm dead. I'm trying to think what helps me out here. Another defile, drain soul, mortal eradication would be very, very good actually. Do I ever life tap and hope to hit the card that I want? No, I think it has to just be table flip next turn. Oh, this is so scary. Play another minion though. Okay. We can play fracking. No, we can't. Dude, this is crazy. Hunter's popping again. I'm trying my best. Bran will be weaker as soon as more aggro options happen in standard. So we go fracking and we have to hope to find a file or... Two mana, and we get nothing. I mean, he's board locked, and he needs one damage. One mortal eradication, man. A dark alley pact, possibly. Would have been great. 
Fuck me. Doomkin's not greedy. You need Doomkin. It's the only way that you can get out uh, the wheel early. Nemzi versus Kael'thas. Salam. Reverb's not bad. Let's dive in. <laughs> um, against a mage, that's not really that useful. But this and this are really, really good. Mortal eradication could be useful. To kill off the minions that they summon with their, um, their weapon. And I mean, again, this isn't my deck. This is, this is the list you all told me to play. You guys told me play no hands list, so I got no hands list, and now you're complaining about it. Uh, I already have a Doomkin, so that's not even remotely useful. Twisting Nether, okay, so they're going to play their seven mana spell that fills the board, and I need to be able to respond to it with Twisting Nether. It sucks losing Reno, though. No, I'll take Reno. I'll be greedy. People tell me Reno is better than Twisting. I don't think that's necessarily true. I don't... I might... I might Drain Soul this instead of Life Tap. I don't know. I'm just taking damage. I'm not happy about it. I don't know if I want to coin this out or not. We'll see. I will admit, I did change one card in no hands list. I took out Hellfire for Twisting Nether because I lost two games because I didn't have a Twisting Nether on eight. Or for eight mana. Both of those games I would have won if I had had it. So I put in a Twisting Nether because the Hellfire didn't really do that much for me. But again, it's a small sample size. Maybe I'll put the Hellfire back in. Unclear. Also, this six mana Zilliax, not a huge fan of it. Like, I understand the concept. It keeps shuffling itself back into my deck. Like, I, I get why it's in theory good. Oh, so that was just a perfect removal with a perfect heal. I had to do that. Um. All this research like, I get it. Something. Okay, boom plus doomkin. Even if it dies to explosive rune, it doesn't matter. Sure. I don't care about that too much. We gain mana. They get a copy of their 3-5. Just something. Sure. I really need the wheel, man. Should I have been life tapping more? I don't know. But Zilliax, it's just the problem is for six mana, it feels so slow. Because for six mana, you would rather play Loken and Doomkin pretty much every single time. I'm just trying to heal up a little bit here. That doesn't really matter. We're basically just trying to set up for Mortal Eradication plus some other sorts of removals. You burn some. You burn some. Sure. That is so much damage though. Holy fuck. Please give me a minion. Thank you. Okay. Um. <sighs> One, two, three, four. That's seven. So I mortal coil this, and then it's one. So it's one, two, that goes to two, that goes to three. Mortal eradication does wipe it, but I lose a lot of removal. But I think it's worth it. Interesting. I also took out the seven, seven Anubiseths or whatever for Dark Alley Pact, but this is one of the instances where the Dark Alley Pact isn't better. There's also a different Warlock deck. Maybe I do just run the Imposing Anubiseth. It's a guaranteed 7-7 every time instead of this, which can fluctuate. Any it's guaranteed, which I think is just really good. In 
infinite taunt minions, maybe? This is only the beginning. And then we'll kill this off, because it's not like they heal. I take two, but I can start healing up every turn with this. I've got a taunt minion. Eh, it was okay. I don't know 100% how good that was, but it's fine. This version, two Hellfires, run Sargeras. Doesn't, it, they do run Reno. They run the bigger Zilliax for nine mana, which I think is kind of impressive. You burned some, you burned some. It's more, it's more early game focused, which I don't hate. I think it's pretty nice. Ow. See what this gives me. Trade away one restaurant viper. Zilliax, I mean, I was just talking trash about Zilliax, but now I kind of like. We'll just keep applying pressure with that. Maybe I'll run this deck. This one also seems pretty good. It doesn't run Twisting Nether. It runs two Hellfires, which might just be better against the early aggressive decks because there are a lot of them. I just thought Twisting Nether was better because Paladin and Death Knight have such big minions that Hellfire doesn't usually kill them off. But... Interesting that you're freezing that and not just killing it. Because it's got taunt. Like, is it not just... Life tap first. Reno is active right now? I'm 100% down, actually. Am I dumb? I don't know how this location works. Well, looking for a stand -up? It's against me. I mean, this is pretty good. I don't know if I use a location on this if it goes away. I don't think that it does. I think that the ability goes off first and then the location dies, which means that I wouldn't get the rush minion. Molten Rune has hit an enemy of Able. Sure, don't really care about this 3 1. Reno's a disgusting card and should be banned. I moderately agree. Not completely. Whoa, 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 whoa! Chill, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Flag on the play. Please don't kill me here, sir. I would appreciate it a lot if you just let me live. Oh, that's disgusting! Oh, that's so good. Holy shit. That was disgusting. Okay, that minion dies. That's not optimal. Oh, no. Holy shit. Wait, 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 wait. Am I about to die? I can't draw cards anymore. No! You're 10 mana? No, 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 no! Holy no, please, God, why? You're 10 mana? That's crazy. It's so crazy. It just might work. Oh, fuck me. Okay, do I just do nothing? I think I just do nothing this turn. I just do nothing. I just do nothing this turn. Oh my god, I just do nothing this turn. That fucking hurts my brain. Am I? Oh my gosh, I'm actually just dead. That's crazy. Fuck off. Am I dead? I'm like 99% sure I'm dead here. Never give up. Run away. Okay. 
ignoring this version. Why does it say it's wild? Literally none of the cards are wild. I'm gonna go pee while I queue for the next game though. One sec. All right, we love Doomkin, we like fracking, table flip I don't think is going to be that important into this matchup, and we just want to find the wheel of death. Okay, so right off the bat, we're met with one of our biggest decisions yet. I'm going to take Reno, though, because I think that Reno is just better than Ziliax, the Deluxe. I already have healing and whatnot. What if we took out one or two more duplicates just so we could make uh, Reno more consistent? Wait, this deck doesn't run Drain Soul? Why does this deck not run Drain Soul? What was this person thinking? I guess I kind of get it. They're like, oh, Putrid gives us two like things with lifesteal. It's kind of, but that's just worse. That's just worse every time I need Drain Soul, man. Table flip's kind of good. We can kill this off. What an interesting idea to not run Drain Soul. Is there a duplicate? I can like I can get rid of a Hellfire for at least one Drain Soul, right? That way Reno is a little bit closer to being active on eight. Just just in general, it runs Dark Alley Pact and Imposing Anubiseth. Okay, so I understand. I understand the theory behind it, I think. Also, this person's this, your ar the armor's not gonna help you, my friend. I apologize, but it's just it's just not gonna do anything. I understand the theory behind it, but I feel like Dark Alley Pact has actually been like just kind of mid for me recently. Cause like Death Knight can easily easily kill it with the minion that gives your stuff poisonous, right? They're just instantly dead every time. Um, as soon as you play it pretty much Because they combo it with mining casualties or they play the thing and then just hero power and kill it Against I don't know. I just feel like there are a lot of matchups where it is not ideal. Um, I think I do want to life tap again here I'll play this next time but to be fair, in the situations like this, having a Dark Alley Pact would be very, very good. But I think if you have the Imposing Anubiseth, you don't need Dark Alley Pact and or vice versa. I think running both is greedy. So I could see myself taking out one Dark Alley Pact for a Drain Soul, maybe both for two Drain Souls. Maybe just one for one Drain Soul because I just think I need that extra rem removal. This is more man efficient, but this sets up for better things. I'd like to make the play that sets up for better things. Four damage isn't particularly threatening. That was a really bad turn five. It could have been a Symphony of Sins, but I kind of want to save that. 
until after I've played the other cards so I can refill my deck. Which mini set is the best to buy for Warlock, Rogue, or Hunter? I wouldn't, again, recommend buying anything right now because I don't just, I just don't know what's strong yet, right? And also, I would wait until the next mini set, uh, the one that's this year, because those cards will be around the longest. So that would be my recommendation. Um, just waiting a little bit to see how the meta develops or waiting until the next mini set so you can have cards that last the longest because I feel like if you're asking about it, how consistent is the wheel deck? It's pretty consistent. But I feel like if you're asking like, what's the most cost efficient thing? What's the best thing? Blah, 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 blah. Um, that probably means that you should be focusing on like, what's it called? on what's the most like cost efficient thing. Double Hellfire fucking sucks. I don't like this play. Hellfire plus Mortal Eradication, I think, is actually better. I take three, but then this heals me six, so I actually heal three from this play. And drawing last like an absolute legend. I am a legend player, drawing last. I can't believe I forgot to draw. I, for some reason, thought that was seven mana, but the other play was seven mana, and I just completely forgot to draw. What story will you give my oh, we might have to siphon soul that. Actually, it depends on what he does. If he does the five HP and armor or drawing a... Co well, if he goes for five attack, mortal eradication kills this. Okay. Let's give them a swing. Which I think just looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna go with infinite taunt minions actually, and then rush a six into that and it dies. Infinite taunt, six twelve goes here. Like why is putrid in this deck? What other fell spells are there? But yeah, I don't know. Dark Alley Pact definitely can be very good, but in some matchups where you're playing a lot of cards, let's say against Hunter or Paladin to wipe their board and stay alive, Dark Alley Pact becomes significantly worse in the matchups that are already bad. So I think taking out Dark Alley Pact, putting in Drain Soul and maybe something else could be good. I don't know. I don't really care about the longevity of cards since my favorite card is the Warlock 7-8 that changes your whole hand or deck into random legendaries. Dude, that card's so bad. I tried playing it in the um in the new Whizbang deck. Oh my gosh. It was so bad. I couldn't make it work. I tried. I really tried. But I just couldn't do it. Hey, Daniel, how's it going? Shield slam. There's a couple different things that they could do to kill that. Bellowing flames. Okay, that means they probably have execute of some sort. That was that was smart. I was gonna say, no way all five hit this, because they're gonna execute it anyway, so I don't really lose anything for it hitting this multiple times. The whispers. I, I can go for another Doomkin. Trid's not terrible, actually. Putrid's interesting. I can't really play him right now. It doesn't really matter. I'm just doing this so I don't overdraw. I forgot to attack. We're not going to talk about it. 
I mean, I guess it fills up spots in my hand to make some of the cards better, but like, is this fell? No, that's shadow. There's really no reason to run putrid in this deck. I guess maybe into some aggro decks, it's also just okay tempo. I guess? Ugh. I don't know. This deck is based around the wheel. My list is based around tempo and giants and a wheel uh, is only for longer matchups. Yeah, that's what I thought would be better. I thought that was gonna be the better like deck, but it turned out that that was not the case. Um, hmm. Profound ignorance. Profound ignorance. Five. And then I'll play this and heal up a little bit, I guess, because each one of these are going to be one. I missed out on three damage. Was that kind of a big deal or six damage? He'd be at 15 right now. I guess it was kind of a big deal. I don't know. At this point, I don't know if Wheel of Death is really the win con. I don't know if Wheel of Death is really the win con here. You aren't beating Warrior to Death anyway, but it's still a big misplay. Like, there's a world where I could beat him down, right? Like, there's a world where it could have come down to that, but I messed it up by missing out on six damage, which is just not... Oh, I need to play better than that. Uh, I'll send you the deck code in a bit. I'm still trying to like mess with it and see if I can make it better or more consistent. Cause I just, I don't know. I don't know if I like putrid. Like I just healed eight, great. But it messes, it, it, it makes low car less consistent. So I take out that for a drain soul. And I take out a, what the flying fuck is this? Oh my god, I lost. That's GG. I can't win. We'll do that into that. We got a taunt minion, but most likely it just dies. Like, this is my problem with Wheel of Death. I don't think it's very good. <laughs> I feel like other things just out, but five turns is so long. There's no way, there's no world that I'm able to survive this onslaught for multiple turns, right? Like, there's just no shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten duplicates. Kind of thinking one Hellfire as well. I think two might be a bit overkill for a reverb.
Why would I run Tony? Tony is so greedy. Tony does not work. If you're running Tony in this deck, it's just, it's not. Like, you're already doing nothing on turn eight. Like, you, you fall so far behind. To, to do nothing the turn after that, too, is crazy. Nemzi versus Garrosh. Those screams eyes are upon you. Let's dive in. <laughs> uh, none of these cards are really that good. Really? This win rate's super high if I keep this. I feel like Warrior's just able to kill it. I think the main win condition of this matchup is to just find the, the wheel and try to kill them before they find, like, um, Reno or something. I'm thinking about taking out the other Anubiseth. Even though I said I don't like it that much, I think that it has some... No, I think having... I think having one's fine. It just gives you a potential more consistent uh, thing for Forge of Wills. Symphony of Sins, you don't want to play that before you've drawn the wheel because it dilutes your deck and makes it harder to do things. What if I reverb this? Hold on. He's not going to have any big minions I need to actually reverb, so I might as well draw extra cards and gain some armor while I'm at it. I feel like that's actually not that bad of a play. Worst case scenario, I can set up to kill it with Defile at any point. Well, we drew the uh, Wheel of Death, which is very, very good. But now we need to find the Doomkin, so we need to draw as many cards as possible this way. I also don't know if I even like the freaking um, Zilliax. Like, I just feel like this deck already has a win condition in the Wheel of Death. Running a 9-mana Zilliax just feels like it defeats the whole purpose. You're gonna kill that, that's fine. I don't mind that too much, actually. They probably play the, um... No, they play the 2-2, their armor hasn't changed. So they don't draw any cards there. That's fine. Coin? For an Acolyte of Pain, perhaps? And a Shield Block? Then what are you doing for 1 mana? Um, I need to find it. I need to find a Doomkin, man. If I don't find a Doomkin on curve, I'm fucked. I mean, that's not even 100% true. If I can find it on turn 6 or 7 to delay Odin even just a turn, it's fine. But, like... Not finding it at all is really rough. He had the coin as well. You had a second fiery war axe? That's crazy. I think also taking out one imposing Anubiseth for a Rust Rot Viper to play around Paladins could be useful. Ugh. Alright. We found a Doomkin. We'll play it next turn. We don't want to overdraw, so let's just do that. It doesn't really matter. We play Doomkin. It does delay Odin by a turn, but he's able to play Brand this turn. He's not Highlander, actually, which does bode well for me. I don't know. I think I'm taking out one Anubiseth, and I'm putting in Rust Viper because of the Paladin matchup. I think it's just better. Wish me luck, lads. Two wins wave from Diamond 5. Congratulations, and I wish you luck, my friend. I know you can do it if you believe in yourself and the heart of the cards. Mm, I'm going to destroy it next turn and summon a 15-15, so there's no reason to use this right now. And then we'll play this the turn after that. We do still have a Twisting Nether with this, which is nice. Is there any way that I can draw a card new? So let's pass. Yeah, let's pass. It's fine. I'll have nine Such mana next turn. Power. Such power! What are you... Huh? Why are you emoting me at six mana, sir? I don't understand. 
Why was Doomkin so important? Two reasons, especially against Warrior. You need to play Wheel of Death as soon as possible against Warrior because they're gonna play Odin and kill you about two turns later, right? So the fact that I got Doomkin a turn late means I'm playing Wheel of Death a turn late, which means that it's significantly less likely that I'm able to survive and eventually win the game. It just is so much less likely. It's so much less likely that we're able to win the game now. Because they're able to play Odin one turn sooner, or no. That's not necessarily the case, but, um... Boom. I do this. I'll make a 15-15. He's probably gonna kill it, but we have another taunt with this, which we can play in a bit. And we're not gonna take fatigue damage because we have the, uh, the weapon, which is nice. But if it comes down to the last turn and we end up losing the game, that just shows you how important Doomkin is. Because they can't threaten me this turn, they can't threaten me next turn, but after they play Odin, there is a world where they can actually kill me in like two or three turns. If they have enough armor in their hand. So, that's that's basically it. That's, that's essentially why getting Doomkin so important. If I had played it one turn sooner, when he had six mana, uh, we win the game. Because he has to wait on turn six, then turn seven, then play Odin on turn eight, and then he has like one, maybe two more turns to kill me after that, depending on like if he has the coin or whatever. Cause he could still like coin out Odin in some situations, obviously. Um, then we're gonna do this. So we can continue growing our hand size. I would like to remove cards from the top, please. I think the taunt is too soon because he's gonna play Odin next turn. So let's just remove the top cards of his deck. We don't really need the healing or anything else. Are you destroying anything good? Boom, I'll draw. I'm not gonna overdraw at any point either, so this is honestly just fine. But he plays Odin this turn, and then I have to figure out a way to survive two more turns and not die. There's Odin. He did actually top deck it, it looks like, or I think so. Boom into boom. This is fucking nuts, by the way, that we have such a big minion here. They're both gonna have Divine Shield Rush Taunt, which is nice. Do I ever life tap? One, two, three, four. I guess I could to try to find the um the reborn guy. We don't find it. This one's kind of useless as well. But now he's got two turns to kill me, which is kind of problematic. But we'll see what happens, right? Like we did burn several armor generators. We burned two safety goggles, which was nice. I don't see, I didn't see, we burned a uh, trial by fire. And then I don't know if we burn. I think we burned a Craftsman's Hammer, but he, he could have another one, so it's not that big of a deal. But he, we burned, um, oh, we might just be dead anyway. A reborn taunt minion is very important here. Is that better or worse than playing this? The problem with this is it could just die to Bladestorm, but this, he would need to kill it twice. Which is still possible? But, oh God. And then we'll heal up too. If we can get Okay, we heal up a little bit more with this as well. So it's it'll be hard for him to kill me, but again, not impossible. But like, you see how it can be so important. If I had drawn Doomkin on curve, that would have been his final turn. But since he got Doomkin not like that, or since I didn't get Doomkin, um, he has, in theory, two turns to kill me. And if I wasn't able to heal up and do all of this, there's a world where I could have died, right? So that's why Doomkin's so important in this matchup, to get as soon as possible. At the very least, you have to get it before, um... 
at the very least you have to get it before um you have to get it before they play odin if you get doomkin after they play odin it's unplayable garbage and it's just gonna sit in your hand but you you have to get it here in this matchup it just has to happen Add a glacial shard. Genuinely, that's not a bad idea. Does glacial shard still exist, actually? It does, okay. Glacial shirt is L. Interesting. For a defile, no, no, never are we taking out defile. Defile is absolutely necessary against hunter and even paladin sometimes. I don't want two reverberations, but I think in some matchups it's kind of useless. We'll run with this again. We'll see if anything continues under form. The Anubisath Defender does kind of suck. No, I was going to take it out for a Rust Rot Viper. I do think Rust Rot's pretty good. We do kind of need it against Paladin. And Hunter a little bit. Ooh, okay, so is it gonna be another shaman that's an OTK shaman or is it gonna be a slower shaman? I'm gonna keep a defile Because I think if it ends up being spell damage like OTK nature shaman or whatever having this is nice This is awful. This is Pretty good. I can coin this out on five potentially We got the second defile, which is eh, it's fine so, okay, spell damage wise, if it's an OTK deck, I don't even know if I can really survive that, to be honest. I actually don't know if I can even survive it. You're gonna add ETC and put Glacial or Viper in or something? The problem with that is that I don't know what I would take out for ETC. Take out your 4-4 taunt, what 4-4 taunt? What? You mean the four mana sevens? I already took that out. Is Sticky Fingers in standard? I don't think so. But anyway, with ETC, I mean, I could I could put in... Um, I mean, I want Viper. The reason why I want Viper is because it's tradable, so I want it to be in my core deck. If I run ETC, I wouldn't take this out and then put ETC in for it. If I put ETC in, I'd probably take out... Maybe Gul'dan's Gift? And something else? We're gonna play that, it's fine. He, uh, he might be going for an OTK. This is, but then again, Astral Knowledge is just a good card in general. I'm trying to think what I would get rid of. Okay, so... You're being a little bit annoying. I do need to kill this off first, I believe. Rust Rot Viper, not particularly good in this matchup. We'll probably trade it away, but getting an 8-8 to kill off this minion is just good. Spell damage is problematic, but them drawing cards I think is even more problematic. But I don't know, maybe I get rid of a uh, Gul'dan's Gift. Could also be a Highlander deck, to be fair. But anyway, I could get rid of Gul'dan's Gift, put it in ETC along with like a Twisting Nether. No, because we'll get Twisting Nether from Gul'dan's Gift. We could put in other tech cards though. There's other things you could put in. Oh, Glacial? No, yeah, we could put Glacial in to help into the Warrior matchup for a turn. Stalling him out for a turn could literally just, like, win me the game. 
Uh, boom, to draw a card real quick, see what we get. I could have coined out Doomkin, but if he didn't have the, um, the one card, the one card being, um, Dr. Holiday, I don't really care if he has it at this point. We really just need to play this to stop him from playing Reno, which we can do, like, next turn. Oh, shit, okay, hopefully two minions live. Don't kill the 8-4. Sick. Ideally, this would have had two HP, so it's like a little bit harder to kill, but it dies to pop up regardless. So actually, you know what? I take it back. That was perfect. Doomkins, pretty solid. I'm gonna play probably at least one fracking next turn. Maybe even two to try to find the wheel of death. If I can find it next turn and coin it out, that'd be really good. Board's too big. True. The board was actually pretty massive. If I put in ETC and I take out Gul'dan's gift. Because Gul'dan's gift also isn't even really a card that you want to play all the time like on curve either, right? Like it's just it's just a card that you want to play when it's situational. It's so like we can just play ETC to get Gul'dan's gift most of the time. Glacial Shard into the Warrior matchup, and then, oh my gosh, we drew Wheel of Death. Sick. Would I rather try to find one more card first? I'm gonna say yes, let's try to do that. And then we can coin this out, and it basically loses me nothing. Yes, I will happily take Reno. I'm very glad that I did that. We will then coin out Wheel of Death. Then we will play this for zero mana and make a 15-15. And then we'll play Reno next turn and gain some armor and all that. We will kill off a couple of things. It's fine. He can't play Reno next turn. I don't really know what he does to remove my board. We've got some healing. We've got Reno for a massive board wipe if absolutely necessary. It isn't OTK. Or it isn't Highlander. It isn't OTK. But can he kill off my big minions? If he can't, I just win the game anyway. We also would probably win the game because of armor and limiting his uh, positions on the board to just one spell damage. Maybe. I can put an ETC for Gul'dan's Gift though, and then maybe Rustrot Viper. Nope, 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 nope. Soul freeze is kind of interesting. Maybe just freezing the minions is better than removing them in some situations. Uh, this could also be more card draw. We might sometimes need more card draw, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Could be drain soul for removal. Do I have any removal here? I'll put in a drain soul. There will probably be some situations where I need removal. No, maybe draw is just better. Could also be Hellfire for a board wipe kind of thing. So Hellfire, Drain Soul, card draw. I mean, if I'm playing ETC on four, I'm probably taking Gul'dan's Gift, but I guess it's most likely that I would need card draw. Because I play him on four, then I play this on five, to give me one to two more draws to try to find something important. I mean, I guess in the instances where it's not this, it would be like Hellfire to wipe the board against an aggro deck. So I'm gonna take Hellfire. In the few instances where I don't take the Gul'dan's Gift, it's gonna be Hellfire or Glacial Shard against specifically Warrior.
A death knight? No! Mm, let me look here. Do I like the harp right away? As much as I do, and it's something that I can just dump, I don't think that it's very good. I feel like there are significantly better cards that I can find. Um, basically being the Forge of Wills, possibly being Dark Alley Pact. And... No, I'll keep Defile, because if they play Mining Casualties, I would like to be able to kill it, and then the backup thing, and then the backup backup thing. I do like Doomkin as well. That could definitely speed up my process. We don't really need the, um, the Felstring Harp right away. We already have one of these in my deck. Do I want to get rid of Zilliax is the question. And the answer is not really. I don't really want to get rid of Zilliax. But again, the game, if it goes that long, like I think Mortal Eradication is healing and removal. I just think it's better because I already have a table flip and it's a little bit more um, of a well-rounded card. But the problem is it's just, ah. Uh, like it, Zilliax, don't get me wrong, is a very, very good card. But I feel like in this matchup especially, if it gets to turn like nine or 10, his minions are always going to be bigger than mine. It's just the way that it is. What are you doing? Holy shit. Okay. Um, that's kind of spooky. I'll life tap though. ETC is pretty nice. I will probably just play Defile next turn if he plays Mining Casualties, which I am assuming he will do because it's a great two mana card. If not, I can just go Mortal Eradication and kill off these two for three mana. It's not bad. I mean, I could just play ETC on four just to give me, um, again, Gul'dan's Gift. I think that that's probably the best thing that I can get from him. But I do want to life tap and try my hardest to find, what's it called? I really do want to find the wheel by turn eight. So life tapping might be better, but I think it's ETC into Gul'dan's Gift. And then we can play like this next turn as well as maybe life tap. I don't know. It's just, it's just Gul'dan's Gift. Glacial Shard again is for Warrior to freeze his face so he can't hit me with Odin. Oh, shit. Could be a Siphon Soul angle. Could also just be an I'm going to ignore this for a turn angle and maybe I can deal with it later. So, eight, nine, ten. So, if I play this, then I can't life tap. Because it'll draw me two cards. But I guess it's efficient enough. This is interesting. I can still kill off Mott and Paul. I'll do that. Kill off Mott and Paul. Not bad. We can play Doomkin. Again, we want to find Wheel of Death. But I guess if it's delayed by a turn or two, it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, I'm fine with that. You're going to kill off my... Oh, you're going to kill that to draw me a card. Okay, sick. You got two turns to draw the card that I'm looking for here. Hmm. Okay. That basically means Loken's fucking useless now, by the way. This card is now uh, useless because I can't get Sargeras or uh, Phantom. I'm not going to Siphon Soul the 2-8 though because they're significantly like more important and better cards I need to try to get rid of. The file is useless. Um, two at the bottom. This will summon me a nine nine, I believe. No wait. One two three four five six seven eight. We life tap. It'll be a nine nine. We can kill it off and it'll live. Yeah, I'm down for that I'm down then we play you and then we will kill off this minion because like this minion doesn't really matter but that one's undead there is some synergy there it's not bad could be worse Eight mana to six mana, pretty nice. What is the mechanical difference between Blade Dance and Defile? 
You mean Blade Storm and Defile? They're basically the inverse. Blade Storm stops when the first minion dies. Defile is it keeps going until a minion doesn't die. Oh, fuck off. Don't kill off my 9-1, please. I did take a lot of damage from that, though. That was kind of lame. Reno's active is crazy. Reno being active is nuts. But I do like it. I hate to admit it, but I do like that Reno's active. Because it does limit what he can do next turn as well. I mean, I can wipe it in other ways. I'm still just going to do this, and then I'm going to play this, and we're just going to go face. Gains me armor as well. Damn, we got the one that refreshes mana crystals, but unfortunately can't really use it. Summons me minions, nice. Could have just been a Sargeras, but... I think Reno was better. I can just play Sargeras next turn. Okay. Sargeras into... Well, maybe, maybe it's not Sargeras. Sargeras into infinite taunt minions seems pretty good, though. I still have two Twisting Nethers in my hand with two Gul'dan's gifts, so, like, I don't think I have any shortage of removal. So let's just do that, go face. Pass. This is fine. Discovering a spell could be pretty good. I like this, though. When are you gonna play? I'm not gonna play Paladin. Fuck that class. I. It's an absolute. It's. I, no. I'll play Paladin, like, off meta. I played Big Paladin. Big Paladin was fairly fun. Don't tell me you have another crop rotation. Only the first one gets rushed, though. But this is fine. We can still kill off the two for relatively easily. But, um, yeah, uh, I play off meta paladin stuff, but I'm not playing aggro paladin or tempo paladin. Not only is it just absolutely broken best deck in the game, Ooh, if you steal Sargeras, does that matter? Fuck off. <laughs> Gosh darn it, man. I mean, it's annoying, but it's fine. I'll just twisting nether the board. I mean, that Sargeras doesn't do anything. So, like, does it even matter? Yeah, that does nothing. Actually, maybe it is just play it slow. And kill this off. I'm already getting infinite taunt minions. It doesn't really matter. damage actually not bad I'll just play you to get another card like it's not a big deal if I get the doomkin I can just play it which will then delay his um, big 10 mana spell by another turn which is fine and it draws me a card which is great obviously Paladin's just so boring. Oh, that's another thing. It's boring. Like, it's boring. It's overpowered. It's not fun to play or watch, I would assume. If we don't get the wheel, we'd probably just play Doomkin. Okay. Hold on. Does nothing. Do I have lethal here? I think I do. That's five mana plus this plus that. This is six, seven extra damage. I have lethal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill the taunt, go face with that. Hit, 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 hit. And then we also have Hellfire for the last three damage. We didn't even need to play the wheel. Woo! Oh, man, broken.
Tessor versus Lady Vash. Your time ends now. Such gifts are the Shaman. Probably an OTK deck, so let's get rid of everything. We want to try to find Doomkin and Wheel of Death as quickly as possible. Forge of Wills plus Dark Alley Pact is also just very difficult for them to deal with. The amount of pressure that it can just provide is quite solid, so Life Tap, and then this, and then that. Elemental Geode, or whatever, Elementium Geode, same thing. Um, kind of an interesting card. Hello, Zahiro? Hello, hello, hello. Harp, interesting. This, and then this. This actually isn't going to be as big of a minion as the new... It's going to be a 6-6, six, six, right? Which isn't that strong. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it dies to, like, the Tumbleweed. The 7 HP is kind of important. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it's just going to be a 6... It's just a 6-6. Six, six. It's still pretty strong, though. Interesting. As much as I like Dark Alley Pact, I was going to say maybe the Anubiseth's better, but it can't attack. Even though the stats are a little bit more consistent, like it will be a 7-7 every single time, it, it has a lot of times where it misses, so I guess it's maybe not that good. Uh, This on 4. We'll make another 6-6 six, because six, it's obviously not bad. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to play this on 6. So turn 5's awkward. We might try to, like, Mortal Eradication Hero Power. And then turn 6 is this. Get another giant Taunt Minion. Hopefully it's a 15-15. And hopefully win the game off of that. How's the deck? Or how's the wheel deck going? I've been trying a couple of different iterations. I've basically been tweaking the deck to slowly try to get it as good as possible over time. And I think I've come up with a pretty decent variation that has duplicates of some of the important early game cards. No shot, dude. Wait, why would he do it on that and not the demon? But we have duplicates of the Doomkin. We have duplicates of Fracking to reduce our deck size and just try to draw some extra cards. Um, the, the Harp is good healing. The only thing that I'm trying to figure out is how to get one more Geode into the deck. I think this card draw could be really, really good. So I'm trying to figure out what card's the worst. And honestly, I'm thinking it might be... Um, I'm genuinely thinking it might just be Zilliax. I don't think I've liked Zilliax like a singular time. Like it's a good card, but it's just, you already have so many other big late game, like potentially win condition size cards that Zilliax just doesn't really work very well in my opinion. Like he's got potential. Ooh, that is annoying. Like, he's got the potential for sure. But he just feels so bad. He also dilutes the pool, so it's less likely I find Sargeras and Phantom. Like, he's... But, like, for nine mana, I'd rather play Sargeras, or I'd rather play this into Twisting Nether. Uh, I actually think I need the Doomkin, so I guess I'll go with that, even though it's not a particularly large mana. This is kind of awkward. I can go this into this, I guess, for seven mana. Giant Tumble Weed. I think that it's Highlander, would be my guess, based on the fact that they run Giant Tumble Weed. Glad I finally got a live stream and watching you since Magic Carpet. Dude, that is a long time ago. But good shit, man. I appreciate the viewership. I appreciate it a lot. Oh, you're going to make me choose? Oh, I guess it's got to be Sargeras, though. Oh, that hurt my soul to lose both of those. Oh, that hurts. Oh. Make a custom Zilliax for early game. I could do something like that, maybe. But I just think that drawing and more consistency is more important. So having another Geode might just be better. I'm going to take out Zilliax for a Geode. Because, like, even if I get life... I just... It's too expensive. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, 
this hurts. This was bad. This was potentially very bad. I committed that very early without having any other removals in my hand except Sargeras. I'm assuming it's Reno, though. That's not a particularly large... No, no, no. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, wait! Shit! Oh, God, do I lose? I think I lose, because he can't do anything. Keep my minion alive. Like I said, I committed it very early without any extra removal. It's going to be very difficult for me to win, but I think it's possible. I think it is possible to win. It's going to be close, though. Sure, that draw does nothing. Sure, that plays into Defile. I just need to wipe the board and make sure I stay alive for as long as possible here. Sure, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Does not matter. Honestly, I'm very scared to see if I can win or lose this game. Defile. You're probably wondering why I committed a Defile, and it's because I think he's going to play something that can maybe pump his minions. And I just want to make sure that doesn't happen. Dark Alley packed with Defile does give an automatic starting point as well. Outside. Ah! Oh, fuck me! That is a big bit. Oh, no. Oh, that is one big thing. Oh, no. Okay. That's a two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a two. No. Is that one, time to make ready? one, two, three. It only does three damage. He has most of his minions live. I'm pretty sure I die next turn, but we'll see. My hand impressive. Seven. Am I dead? I'm probably dead. Yeah. If he has three damage, I lose. No, at least I lost a rag. I'm fine with that. That's really lame that he got it off of that randomly, though. No, that is that is lame for sure. I'm taking out the X. If I hadn't been offered that and I'd had a slightly bigger minion, I also think I just win the game. So yeah, Zilliax uh, is fucking terrible in this deck. That's better. It was close. It came down to the final turn. It actually was a really close game. It, it, it actually came down to the fact that I got offered Zilliax. If I had gotten a bigger minion, I think I win. What do you mean? Like, if I got offered Sargeras or the 1515 and said either one of those two off of Loken, that would have been a GG. What do you mean there's an error starting your game? Fuck off. Like, it actually came down to that. Also, not drawing the Doomkin on six was also... Dude, what the fuck? Small indie company.
Actually, if I hadn't taken Sargeras also, I think I also would have won. Because Dirty Red exists. Dude, what is happening? Like, I've never gotten this error more than like three times in a row. The fact that this keeps happening is insane. But then again, he only played Dirty Rat because he knew I had Sargeras in my hand. I just didn't have a really good hand to follow up. I didn't have Reno. I didn't have the other Gul'dan's gift. I didn't have ETC. It just was a, it was just a fairly poor set of draws. Dude, what the hell? Let me in. The crashes again, I'm restarting Hearthstone. Give it a second. I'll restart it. So annoying. Don't crash again, please. Where have your journeys taken you? Excellent. Which deck are you playing today, my friend? I'm playing Wheel of Death Warlock. Dude! Are you f oh. I did just update my battle net, by the way. What's the cat? That's crazy. I haven't played the OTK Druid deck. That's on my list of decks to play, though. Small indie company. Fuck you, man. Let's give it beta testing. No, I look, I, I didn't update it. It wasn't working. I update it. It still isn't working. It's not me. I swear. It's not me. I promise. Maybe if I try a different deck? No way it's a deck issue, right? Fucking stop! No, I don't want to play- Oh! No! I mean, I don't care about my rank, so insta conceding doesn't matter to me, but you're kidding me. I'm- I'm tilted. God damn it, I don't want to play this deck. Let me out! Let me out! Dude! <laughs> I'm not counting that game. It's not going on my record, okay? We're not counting it. Uh, this iteration of the deck is three and two. I think it's pretty solid. That shaman game was extreme. Why? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make we're gonna make an adjustment. The wheel is bugged? No, there's no way the wheel is bugged. I literally just played a game. Zilliax is revenge. No Zilliax, no game. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fine, I'll play Zilliax. Are you happy? I'm gonna put Zilliax back in and it's gonna work and I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. I've already made my own Zilliax, you piece of shit. Sure, I'll run this one.
If they flood the board, no, it's still nine and I'm not gonna have anything. You know what? Fuck it, it doesn't matter. Whatever, 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 whatever. If I get into a game, I'm gonna lose my mind. Fuck you, Zilliax! Oh my god. It was Zilliax? I'm, I'm, t I'm pissed. I'm legitimately pissed off. Dude. I'm pissed. I'm not playing. No, 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 mm -mm. no, 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 no. I'm gonna play this deck without Zilliax because I don't wanna put Zilliax in here. I'm not gonna let Zilliax win, okay? I don't care about my rank. That game doesn't count. I, I, Zilliax is not winning this. No, sir. Take him out. Does this deck have Zilliax? This deck doesn't have Zilliax. Why did it work? No shot. There's no way, right? No way it crashes again. Fuck you! Fuck you! What do you mean? Oh my gosh. What the hell? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> oh. Look. I'm so mad. Okay, we'll delete this one and we'll run with this one. It's not gonna work, is it? <gasps> We're in! We're in! Yes! That's so funny. <laughs> Okay, so I like Drain Soul. I don't really want either of these, they're a bit too slow. You basically need to find removal as fast as possible. I only have one Drain Soul, so I'm down to keep this one. Defile's freaking nuts, and Phantom is also really good if we can just get an early Wheel of Death into popping off. We'll get views on shorts. I should have been recording that. It literally wasn't letting me, that was so weird. That was so weird. Um, hmm, okay, so I'm trying to think about what I want here, and I think that it's gotta be Dark Alley Pact. Reverb, all of his minions are gonna suck anyway. Doomkin, this is too fast of a matchup. It's gotta be Dark Alley Pact. I hate losing a reverb, but I think it's worth it. What are you gonna play now? Hmm? What are you gonna play now? Hmm? A fucking minion, I presume? It's war. dead. It's dead. On sight. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with it. Mm -mm, not this guy. I'm so mad. I cannot believe that my deck got bugged because I took Zilliax out of my deck. I, it, it, it would not start a game. That was the wildest thing. Coining out a minion? For two snakes? Oh, for Awakening Tremors. Well, you can't even necessarily play them this turn, so... Oh, wait a minute, we got a wheel. Hold on, we got a wheel of death. If he plays all three of those, I just play Mortal Eradication. We just need all of the removal in the world to win this matchup, I think. Hold on. I think I just play Dark Alley Pact and I let him trade in and I can play Mortal Eradication or Defile later because this isn't like particularly threatening. It's not that bad. Hearthstone devs were like, how dare you get rid of our genius creation? Look, that was so stupid. <laughs> I should have recorded it for a short. You're right. That would have been hilarious. The fact that I have to commit two removals here is insane. But I have to. Dude! 
Oh, it hurts. That hurt to do. Oh, that was so painful. That legitimately was so painful to have to do. Don't tell me you have another. Okay, that's that's fine. Oh, that's less fine. Oh, that's pretty bad. Forge of Wills. Life tap first. We don't take damage. He plays a couple of things, then he's gonna go fucking saddle up, so I have to try to find the file here. It's the only way. Oh. Look, if I can survive two more turns and I can get you, I can pop off, but that's about it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, that's so bad. Ah, you're kidding. Dude, like, how? What the f- Do I have to siphon soul this? I can siphon soul this and then give this rush and rush into that. And that's two, four, eight. No, I'm still just dead. Dude! Impressive. You win this time. How do I beat that? What the fuck? What just happened? I killed the thing turn one. I wiped their board turn three. I'm actually starting to think Dark Alley Pact is worse than the Anubiseth Defender. Because the 7-7 seven, seven stats would have been huge. But I wiped their board on turn five. What do they do in turn three? Nemzi versus Purchase. I needed turn three to be Forge. If turn three had been Forge, no, I still lose. No, because Forge would have allowed me to kill the 4-4. Four, four. That's fucking crazy. Um, uh, Wheel of Death is apparently not a good keep into this matchup. Uh, we'll keep you though. What are they gonna play? They're gonna probably be playing big things. Which means that we don't really care about anything else. We just wanna get our big 15-15 uh, if you don't mind. Sargeras is also fine. But we don't want to draw the 15-15 until turn 5, which we will coin this out to try to get. I don't understand how that Hunter deck does so much damage so quickly. Like, I wiped their board and I was at full HP on turn 5. And then he just literally killed me turn 6. I was dead. And I'm like, I never had that successful of a game. As Hunt- well, that's not true. But not without, like, Zilliax. But I didn't kill his board one time, and he just went from zero to hero in, like, a turn. Because I wasn't able to kill his board once. That's like... I mean, I don't think it's as strong as Paladin, but it has more direct damage. So, like, even if you wipe the board, it feels... it. There are some issues. Uh, I don't need to play the harp yet. I haven't taken any damage. I just packed wheels, so going to have to give it a go. It's a fun, it's a fun deck. It's a fun card for sure. It actually is very fun. Okay, I don't, oh, they played the Thistle T set. Okay. Maybe I should have kept the wheel. I mean, the wheel is, is like, my main win condition. Doomkin? Okay, so the question is, do I coin out Doomkin or do I coin out this? I think coining this out on five is just better. I think coining this out is just insane. Right? So we play this on five, we play this on six. Because even if I play this on five, or I play this on five, it doesn't change the turn that I can theoretically play Wheel of Death, so... 
Quit shaking, it's a bad habit. What do you mean? I mean, my legs bob up and down. It's not necessarily like a habit or a thing that I choose to do. It's just something that I, I do. It has to do with like ADHD or whatever. Burst riff? In this economy? Do I drain soul that? I'm thinking I do drain soul it. I'll play the harp, it's fine. I'll probably life tap once or twice. Rogue has always been the best character. It's literally not very good right now. It's uh, ninth now. I definitely, okay, so I don't know if there needs to be buffs or nerfs immediately because other things will come out that will balance the meta, right? Like people will figure out counters to certain things. But I do think when two classes are this high up, they definitely need to be looked at. Like I'm not saying it needs to be nerfed yet. Okay, I, I do think that there is some validity in holding out, but... I also do think that it's important to to monitor the situation and if it doesn't drop off after a couple more days, definitely look into nerfs then. But early on, aggro decks are always simple and aggro based decks are always going to do better because slower, more control combo decks like this need a lot more refining, right? Like I've been spending basically this whole stream trying to figure out what cards are good and what cards aren't good. Are you gonna hit me in the face? Oh no! Luckily, I do want to run. I do run one Rust Rot Viper. Uh, we're gonna go coin into you. I was hoping to have a, a big thing out at this point. But we don't. You know what? I'm gonna take Rust Rot Viper. That was kind of unfortunate. That's the problem with running the geodes is that it does dilute the pool. Ah. Uh. It does dilute the pool quite a bit, which is unfortunate, but it's just the way that it is. I think infinite taunt minions will definitely help me in this matchup. So Doomkin next turn, hopefully he pumps up his weapon once or twice more. And then this on turn. So this is turn six. This is turn seven. This is turn eight with infinite taunt minions. Zillia X with the plus one plus one and the minus one cost for each minion is broken. Dude. I played, I did play a couple of games of the Hunter deck and when I played that Zilliax card on turn like three or four and I literally had lethal on turn five, it was too strong. Stop scratching your head. No nerfs, Paladin Stone. I mean, I think there will be nerves eventually. I just don't know exactly when it will be. What do you hit? Okay, you hit the minion that you were probably already gonna hit with a weapon. Dude, oh my God. Oh my gosh, that's so, dude! Okay, maybe it's Rust Rot Viper this turn. That's, that weapon is too big. I think that I have to just do this. I think I have to just do that because if not, I'm going to take too much damage. Uh, I can't life tap either. Um, let's just go this and keep my minion alive, I guess. We'll play Doomkin next turn. Although that feels kind of awkward, but I'll still play it. This is why we run Rust Rot Viper, people. I mean, I ran it for Paladin mostly, but... And um, some other decks like the uh, the the hunter weapon. This treasure ain't fit for the hunter me. weapon that uh, gets what's it? no fucking way. Oh man, they've already pumped it up several times though, so I do think infinite taunts could be good. But oh no. Interesting. Are you gonna hit the minion? I don't have another restaurant viper, unfortunately. So that's a bit bad, but. I think it's Doomkin. I think it's Doomkin. I think it's Doomkin. Might have been too greedy. Maybe I should have gone for board wipe, but I want to play Sargeras next turn and get infinite taunts. The 
The one that steals your opponent's what? Wait, is Sticky Fingers in the game right now? Dude, there's no fucking way you have more. You've already drawn all of your remove. What the fuck is going on? Hellfire in a dark alley packed, I guess. I mean, it dies, but if he can't kill this minion, he can't go face and kill me. I couldn't even play Sargeras. That sucked. I even had the Rustra Viper to kill off the first weapon, and he was able to pump it up to 7 attack again immediately. That's so nuts, dude. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I'm so mad, dude. No. Let the bad land. Fuck off! There's no way your hand was that fucking perfect! Impressive. What? Oh, well, it's fine. The game is over. It's fine. Oh, my God. That's so fucking lame. Nazar versus Uther. All right, the Paladin matchup, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready to kill his ass? We don't want any of these cards. <laughs> we want to find Forge of Wills. We'll take the Geode. The Geode's still a really good card. Doomkin's also pretty solid on six. If you life tap, you survive. I feel like it's more realistic that he has an extra damage spell. I mean, I guess I could be wrong, obviously, and I was wrong. I think I think it was more likely. No, he did have direct damage. I'm dead regardless. There. You know, be super funny if I drew the um the Rustra Viper. Rustra? No, but Wheel of Death isn't bad. I lost the other fracking. Wow, we drew him. Holy shit. Wait, that's incredible. I have to kill it with this and then play this. Is there a world where I ever just play Dark Alley Pact instead of Rust Rot Viper? I mean, if he wants to face tank eight damage, I don't know. I can try to kill the second weapon when he plays that. I just feel like doing it now is so bad. You are gonna hit it? That's disgusting. No way you actually kill it too. Oh my gosh. Well, I messed up. That's my bad, I guess. I mean, that's fine. That'll heal me, I guess. We'll play Doomkin next turn. Oh. It just sucks so bad making a play that's like just inherently mana inefficient. It's just, it felt so bad, but I let him pump up two extra times. I didn't think he'd take eight damage and he's back to full HP anyway, so it didn't even matter. Like, what is this, dude? It's okay. It's fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I let him pump up two extra times. 
I should have just played Restaurant Viper and then played the other thing the next turn and been mana inefficient. I don't know why I chose not to. Like, would it have even mattered? It doesn't fucking matter, dude. I run literally... keep this because I think this can go crazy as long as we can get like a really big card hmm I don't think this hand is winnable unless they don't have wheel of death on curve or if we can find doomkin so this matchup is really going to come down to oh shit wait that's not what I expected at all wait a minute hold on this matchup is so winnable they're trolling it's not a race to the wheel it's something about sludge. Do some sludge. I'm okay with this. Turn three, he probably plays. Oh, a trolley problem would be bad, but we can just play this to kill trolley problem. It doesn't really matter. Hmm. I. Forgot about that card. Shit. He does get a sludge and he gets two into his hand. Um, Defiles, pretty good, I guess. Losing reverb sucks, though, because he can play the, uh, the seven. I'm going to take that. I'm going to need the reverb. The Overture is upon us. Okay. How am I always so fucking far behind? Like, how am I so far behind every game? I don't get it. Wait, these things still exist? The fatigue damage things? Interesting.
So I basically just keep losing early game and then I keep losing late game and then I also lose the mid game. So I'm trying to figure out where exactly this deck's supposed to do anything. And the smoke will fix your deck, fair enough. People said I needed more draw, but I think the 7-7s seven are just better. I think the 7-7s seven are just better. People were saying I needed to put in the 7-7s. Seven but... Yeah. The 7-7s seven are just too good, though. Nemzi! Another Shaman matchup's crazy. I didn't know Shaman was seeing this much play. I still can't really believe Shaman's seeing this much play. We're not going to keep any of those. It's Zilliax. He put a curse on you. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But I mean, a four mana seven, seven taunt guaranteed is just so good. Because like, I realized even if you life tap, Dark Alley Pact is never going to be more than six. Well, okay, if you played if you play the Geode on two, they hit it. This Excuse me, and they kill it. I'm gonna drain soul that immediately, by the way. I don't I don't wanna take the damage. But like boom, this right here is like, oh, if I by playing this, it automatically means the Dark Alley Pact is at most gonna be a 5-5. Five five. Go with the flow. Which is just so weird. For but like this is just so much better tempo. I'm I'm this close to taking out Dark Alley Pact. I mean, no, it's still a really good card. It's just the fact that it's not quite as good as the Anubis F early on is the problem. I need to get rid of Thalnos to get rid of the um I need to get rid of the the spell damage. Even though he gets to draw a card, I think it's still worth it to just go boop and then boop and then kill the seven. Or kill the, the one one. But no, the seven sevens are just way better. Even though it can't attack, the fact that it has taunt means that unless it's a combo deck, which technically this deck is, he still has to hit this, right? Like he still has to smack this thing. See what I draw? Reverberations doesn't really change anything. We'll get another rush minion. Honestly, just go face and kill off the two two here. This activates Defile and Mortal Coil, and then this, um, if I kill it, gives him a tradable card, so I don't really want to do that. Definitely should have Zil- no, Zilliax has been terrible. Zilliax is way too expensive for what you get out of him in this deck. Like, you give him- you make him the, um, the six mana that Death Rattle shuffle back in, you would rather play Loken and Doomkin on six every single time. Mortal Eradication, the fact that this is actually going to work this turn is insane to me. Technically should have drawn first, but it doesn't really matter. But you'd rather do that on six. If you want to run the more expensive one that's nine mana, you're never really going to play him on nine mana. He's not big enough to where you really want to get him off of Loken. So I, I took him out for, I think it was Reverberation, so I had extra removal, so I didn't die as hard early game. I just think it's way better than Zilliax. Like, Zilliax has potential. Zilliax can be very good, don't get me wrong. I just don't think that he is that good in this deck. Two taunts is frustrating. We should be able to kill it anyway, it's fine. It dodges fatigue, but you don't need to dodge fatigue. You already dodge fatigue with the harp, and you also dodge fatigue with Symphony of Sins. So you are usually not going into fatigue anyway. Or if you do, you're able to dodge most of the damage. Most of it. 
What the hell? Wait, how have you played so many cards? What? That's crazy! How have you played so many fucking cards? What in the world are you doing? Holy shit, that was so much damage on turn six. I mean, I still live, but that's still a lot more damage than I expected. That's nuts. That's pretty cool. Maybe, maybe, um, Nature Shaman is, is pretty good. <laughs> Nature Shaman might still be good. Like, obviously he didn't kill me, but I forced him to combo on turn six. Wow. He did way more than I thought. Like, you don't need to dodge fatigue, is what I'm saying. Zilliax is a great card and definitely worth crafting. I just don't think he necessarily fits this deck particularly well. Because you lose so fast early game. Like, the Zilliax never comes into play anyway. Like, again, the main issue with Zilliax is even though he's a great card, Paladin and Hunter are killing you by turn 6 or 7. You're never playing Zilliax. Mmm, I like fracking. I like fracking quite a bit. Uh, I think that it's worth it to keep it as well as Dark Alley Pact and then the Harp. I don't need it early, early in the game because I don't want to necessarily play a card and empty my hand. So I think this is fine. Defile's very good against like mining casualties. Zilliax is anti-aggro, not value. It's literally not anti-aggro. Look, if you have to spend six mana to get a 5-4 Divine Shield, Taunt, Lifesteal, whatever. Uh, let me also, first of all, we already have two giant things. So we don't really need the Anubiseth. I think it's probably best to take ETC. Because Hellfire... No, Hellfire is good, though. But ETC is way more flexible. I like it more. Mm. But, like, look. You play Zilliax on six, Hunter kills you on six, even through Zilliax. Oh, man. If I'm able to find the uh, the wheel, that would be great, actually. Thank you very much. Just let me draw the wheel, please. Symphony of Sins is not the wheel, but it could still be good. I'll play this on turn five, maybe. You choose the discount per minion on board? I mean, yeah, You so you have, you have one, but it's still a nine mana card. And it's good against Hunter if you use that one, but the Paladin one, they go a little bit more tall. Mm. I do want to play the Harp to play around Plagues, even if it makes the Alley Pact a little bit weaker. Like, you can run that one if you want, and I don't necessarily think that it's even that bad. But against Paladin, it'll probably you cost like five mana still. Oh, that's so annoying. But luckily, we should be able to dodge at least some of the early damage. Just don't get it like this turn so I can't play um Dark dark Alley Pact. Table Flip is not good enough here, but Dark Alley Pact is solid. It's fine. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. You most likely play Zilliax on 3. That's not true most of the time, I think. Again, against Hunter, yes. Against any other class, no. And I would rather have Reverberations because Reverberations is great against Paladin as well as several other classes. Like, I would rather just not have Zilliax and have a Reverb that can potentially actually do something. Oh, uh, we can go Table Flip this turn if we wanted to. So at this point, I'm always confused on if I want to go Loken or Doomkin. I think Loken is better. I think it has to be Loken. Because then maybe we can find um, Phantom, and then if we find Phantom, and then we can go Wheel of Death, we just win. The problem is we don't have that much removal, but we do have ETC, which can give us a Gul'dan's Gift, which will give us Twisting Nether. Can you send the deck code? I will, I'll try. I'll send you a deck code. Yes, My sir. Doesn't compare to your play. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Oh, I was like, do you run that? What the hell are you doing? But no, he doesn't run that.
here it is, my bad. Mortal Eradication is definitely not as good as this. Uh, so we're going to play that and try to get a 15-15 Taunt Minion or at least a 6-9 Taunt Minion. Um, now, having to choose between the two always sucks. But I think it's got to be a 15-15 here. I think it's got to be a 15-15 here. I'm just, I think. Because Reska is not even close to being active. The problem is I want removal. Okay, you hit that. I'm going to go bonk, bonk, unfortunately, because I want to play Duke. Do I even need to play Duncan? Or could I just do 15 damage to it, to the to the face? Can I even do 15 damage to the face? I don't know if I can. I truly don't know if I can do 15 damage to the face. Boom plus ETC. Okay, so what do they what do they play late? They could play the Primus next turn and eat. No, they could play the Primus in two turns. But the Primus doesn't really matter because HP isn't how they win through Wheel of Death. So maybe it is just better to try to kill this, push 15 damage, make him freak out a little bit. But there's also a chance that this misses, right? Mm. File doesn't do anything. And then Doomkin gets me to nine mana, but what do I do with that? Like if I play this, it doesn't do anything anyway. We'll see where this goes. That's crazy that that happened. What the fuck? Uh, Defile, it kills off both, and then we go face for 15 anyway. Wow. Wait, that was so good. We wiped it. Wow. I did not expect that, even a little bit. I did not expect that even slightly. I really thought that that was doomed. You now take mandible. Why are you not keeping the weapon on draw? Because I don't think the weapon's very good. Like, early on. You don't necessarily want to play it right away anyway. Because it makes your, um, your other thing weaker. Also, statistically, it just says it's not very strong. So I haven't been keeping it because... If it's statistically pretty weak... What's the point in keeping it? No way I drew a Frost Plague! There's no fucking way! Oh, shit. Dude, there's no fucking stop. Feels good. That's crazy. What the fuck? You can play the Primus now. Wait, being having to wow. The runes inside your Holy shit. Wait, that's devastating. Remnants of life. I have to do this and then I have to go siphon soul to kill that because that's gonna get too much value. I can play I can play this and this next turn. So it's still not the end of the world, but wow, that was bad. I lost to RNG, that's so fucked. Two mana left is not really that much. I don't want to life tap because I'll take too much damage. Nah, life tap is fine, whatever. No, life tapping was actually super troll because if I had drawn a plague, I would have lost. I need him to hit the 15-15. I need him to hit the 15-15. If he hits the 15-15, it's winnable. That was so unfortunate that we drew the frost plague on. We drew like five plagues on that turn. It's asphyxiate. So oh my god. Interesting. Okay. That's fine. 
We take one damage. So far, it's not that big of a deal. We go Symphony of Sins. Hopefully get a Taunt Minion or deal six, heal six. Sure. I'll then do this, get a 6-6 six, six, and rush into that. I could have life tapped, but I'm also a little bit low. Death cannot be found. Sure. Draw a rush minion. Oh shit. Deal six, heal six, reverb, kill. Reverb, kill it off. The th the two, three lives, but there's nothing I can really do about that. There's nothing I can really do about that. Could I life tap? Sure. Envy's not bad. I really want to find Wrath. This deck is stressful, man. 300 people are viewing right now? That's crazy. Wait, really? Holy shit! How's it going, everybody? I don't try to look at the numbers anymore because every time I look at the numbers, I get stressed out. So, what do I do here? I think I go Doomkin, which doesn't really do well. My undying gratitude. Boom. A pity. Boom. And then I'm gonna rush one into this, which I guess is fine. I just am trying not to die here. Deal six damage to everything as a potential board wipe is really the only option that I have left. It's gonna be close. Burrow Buster's fine. I'm hoping that I don't die this turn or next turn. He gets to resummon his biggest thing. You're not gonna resummon your biggest thing. Why are you not resummoning your biggest thing? Why is he not resummoning his biggest thing? Wait, why? I don't understand. Let's burn his cards. Let's pass. Why are you saying a pity? Oh, are you? Okay, I thought maybe they knew something I didn't. I was like, do I not win this turn? Like what's happening? I was so confused. I thought that with them emoting that somehow they were gonna win and I was like, what the fuck? I really need to pee, but I will be right back. Uh. Um, yeah, I'll keep these two things. It's fine. The problem with fracking is that you destroy the co No! No! Okay, look, now all that you have to do is give me like- Oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That for three is really good. 
Do I want to keep ETC? Worst case scenario, ETC gets me a four drop that I can play for this. It's fine. It's not great, but it's okay. You don't look at chat chat? What do you mean I don't look at chat? I look at chat all the time. Sometimes. When I'm like super into a game though, it can be kind of problematic. Sometimes I get a little bit distracted. Turn three, turn four if necessary to rush into something, but I don't know. Notice that he opens the door the same way every time he wants to go pee. What do, what do, I opened the door. What do you mean? What does that mean? What do you mean by that? Do I not open the door just normally? Do I have this like way of opening the door? Gear shift? Interesting. Okay. Turn four. I guess it could still just be ETC, but I don't think I'm going to make a rush copy of him. Hold on. This guy's cooking. Is he? Wait, are you going to play the one card? You've drawn a... Wait a minute. Hold on. Shut up. What the... F what do you mean? Do I make... I think I do make a rush. I think making a rush copy to kill this off isn't the worst thing in the world. I will probably take a Gul'dan's gift. Just because of how flexible it is. Glacial Shard's interesting, but I think that this is better. Unfortunately, no big minion though to uh, to deal with that. He doesn't actually pee. He plays the recording and then goes and does something else. That would be so funny. Wait, that's genius. I'll be like, oh my guy, uh, my bad guys. I gotta I gotta pee. Press press his button on Stream Deck so that way this thing automatically plays a, a, a video in the bottom left hand corner for me to go to the bathroom and then. What the hell? Oh! Fuck off. I can siphon soul a minion, but like... Don't... I can siphon soul one minion, I guess. Dude, what the flying fuck is this? I mean, they just hit the nuts. There's nothing I can do about that. If they had gotten one less giant, or if they would gotten... Yeah, they, they just hit the nuts. It's fine, it happens. That's okay. I played 20 games of Rogue and never got that on turn four, by the way. I've only, the best I did was a turn five play. I mean, turn three, turn four is definitely solid. Reverberations, I'm trying to think if it's worth keeping. I feel like there are better cards though. Mm, I don't know if that's a better card. Can I go back? Can I, can I, can I go back to the other one, please? I would appreciate that. What's your winner at this deck? I mean, I've been changing it multiple times throughout this whole, um, stream so like from version to version i don't even know i don't i don't have all the stats on it it's been going back and forth but i would say it's probably been about 50 percent it hasn't been great but again i've been trying a bunch of different things because i'm trying to figure out like how to make a deck that can not lose to paladin instantly a deck that has oh my gosh because he's gonna he's gonna give his whole hand plus two plus two Next turn. For what? Just for existing. And that's not even including the weapon that he's gonna play next turn and his whole hand is gonna be plus four, plus four by next turn. Like, I can't compete with this. No amount of playing cards can compete with whatever the fuck Paladin's doing. Look at this. He plays the weapon next turn. The weapon turn, admittedly, is a little bit slow. A little bit slow. And then after that, he just goes bonkers. Accident. You're not playing the weapon? Why? What are you doing? Fracking, see what's at the bottom. 
Damn, I actually like all of these. Um, well, the problem is I don't have the, uh, damn. ETC could get me a Twisting Nether on turn nine. Dark Alley Pact gives me more tempo. One, two, three, four, five. It gives me a six, six. Mm. I mean, I guess it's ETC. We already have another big minion here. And this goes face. I don't know. ETC just has more flexibility. We get to play you next turn and then you. And maybe we can slow him down enough with these two cards to maybe be okay. I'm surprised he didn't play. I guess he didn't want to take seven damage. But still, he's pumped up his hand plus five, plus five. And he hasn't even played the weapon. Defile's pretty good. Not here specifically, but it's it's pretty good in general. Uh, we'll go Doomkin. This obviously has to go face, and then I'll kill off the 3-5 because it'll be the hardest thing to kill. That is incredible. Mm, I could kill the 4-4. Four, four. Because it does more damage. Yeah, we'll kill off the 4-4 four, because four, it does more damage. It'll make it a little bit harder for him to kill off these minions. Oh, sick. My bad. My, no, my bad, guys. My bad. He heals all the way back up to full, basically. My bad. All the damage, all the pressure I had for the first five turns. No. Gone. Ha, ha, ha. Of course. Oh. Seventeen damage. Can I somehow get lethal? I can get lethal if this is deal six damage to everything. Or deal six to his face. If it's the plus six plus six though, it could hit the seven seven and I don't want to bank on that. Although I could have waited. No, that was my bad. Luckily we still got that and we'll hellfire. Fuck you, Paladin. I played that in a bad order. I was a little bit stressed, I will admit. But we still kill him. Dude. I needed to have, like, the absolute perfect hand. You send me the deck code? Oh, for this deck or for that deck? Dude, I don't... I don't like Zilliax in this deck. I think he's too slow. I think he's too slow. I really do. Maybe I put Zilliax in ETC instead of Hellfire. That way I can still have him. All right, so this matchup is literally determined by Doomkin. We have him. So now all we need uh, is the other card, is the, is the wheel. It's actually so important that we get rid of everything that isn't the wheel or actively draws us the wheel. Zilliax may be slow, but ETC is even slower if you think about it. I mean, kind of. But you want Glacial Shard for the Warrior matchup. Gift of Gul'dan's still decent, and then this is fine. Uh, ooh, okay. Again, tempo isn't how we win. He's gonna gain enough armor and he has enough removal. It's gotta be Symphony of Sins there. We get to play you. We'll probably life tap and then play this life tap turn three. And we're just gonna do everything we can to draw the uh, the wheel. We're just gonna draw through half of our deck pretty much. We're just gonna play everything that we possibly can to get to the wheel. But yeah, ETC is kind of slow. I do like how flexible he is, but you are right. Maybe I take out ETC. I put in something. Maybe I just put the Gul'dan's Gift back in. Restaurant Viper isn't terrible, but we'll see. You can't put Zilliax in ETC for some reason. Oh, I didn't know that. Why ET? No, because you don't take gift every time. Sometimes you will be. T I, I guess I should put Twisting Nether instead of Hellfire. Because sometimes you need the eight mana card. I'm trying to think how the best way to play this is. Because I want to try to draw every single turn if possible. I don't want to play Rustle Viper on nothing. I think. I legitimately need to draw every turn to try to find the wheel. 
Also, ETC to get Glacial Shard is definitely fine. Like, if he plays Odin, it basically buys me an entire turn. But Hellfire should be Twisting Nether. Because the 8 mana removal spell is actually very relevant sometimes. Because Gul'dan's Gift, you usually take it to discover Twisting Nether, sometimes Siphon Soul, but sometimes you just need Twisting Nether on 8. Sargeras is infinite taunt minions. Infinite taunt minions is at least something, especially if I'm able to get it a turn sooner. But if I don't get the... I trolled. I threw, 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 I threw. I should have coined this out to stall him out for a turn. I... Oh, God. I still just lose. Like, even if I had coined it out early, I don't think it changes the outcome of the game if I don't have... The wheel. Because, like, I still think the wheel is where most of it comes down to, honestly. No, I should have coined out Dinkin. fine i kill off i guess etc because brain isn't particularly useful here i don't think he can like transform it or anything but no yeah etc should be twisting nether in here instead of this have you played around with tempo demon hunter i played big demon hunter yesterday it felt pretty good i mean i'm still pretty sure that the wheel on like now the wheel's just a dead card like, I don't have a win condition anymore, unfortunately. The game's already over. Even if I slowed down his brand for a turn, it doesn't really matter. Because you need the wheel on eight. Otherwise, he just plays Odin on... Like, he just wins. Infinite taunt minions isn't bad, but I still don't think it's going to be enough. Because, like, the thing is, you need the wheel. I don't, I don't fucking care about Bran. The problem is Odin comes down and he wins the game. Infinite Taunts definitely does help, but he just plays Bran um, Reno and I, I lose it anyway. Like it, the whole thing's just fucked. The whole thing is just doomed, honestly. No, that makes sense though. He can't play the bird yet, but he'll play the bird in a moment and it'll just wreck my entire thing. Oh God. Reno is active, which I guess is relevant. It gives me new hero power. I guess we can life tap first. Still no wheel. Poof the board. At least this maybe gives me an extra win condition. Can it destroy a location? I mean, he, he probably draws all of his cards anyway, and I lose all these things regardless. But yeah, not getting the wheel basically means I lose. You're probably wondering, like, you probably think I'm overreacting, but I'm really not. Because, again, Odin and other things like this are just too powerful. Like, Warrior always outscales me unless I can get the, um, the wheel. Reno? No, I know Reno destroys it. I'm saying does Boom Boss destroy it? Why are you playing that? Oh, that's pretty good. We'll get two five fives. Basically the best I can do here. And then these two things pop up. It'll be close, but I don't think that I have what it takes to win this game anymore. You don't pick the one. You got this? I mean, still no wheel is devastating. Is there a way that I can tutor out the wheel? I don't think so. I think it literally just comes down to do I draw it or not. Fracking looks to see if it's at the bottom of the deck. 
Also, pressure doesn't do anything because he has so many fuck. That is able to kill that. I do also have quite a bit of armor. Also, it counters boom fuck off. Oh no. Oh no. That's a disaster. Whirlwind? Why are you playing Whirlwind? I'm just trying to draw the card, man. Oh, I guess I could discover it. Oh, you're kind of insane, actually. I'll resummon minions, it's fine. If this thing, it didn't even die. <sighs> okay, still no boom boss stuff. The draw shadow spell minion. Oh. But I have several other. Holy shit, what are you talking about? That's. Interesting. But they're all shadow spells, man. I took out Drain Soul and what else did I take out actually? Wait, what were, what were the two cards I just took out? I took out Drain Soul and what? Hold on. I took out Drain Soul and something else. What did I take out? Reverb. Ugh. I don't like getting rid of reverb. No. Oh. It's just, it's not, it doesn't do enough is the problem. Like, I play this against a paladin or a hunter and it's not going to do anything. No, it's fine. I'll still take reverb. Maybe I don't want drain soul. Some of the other decks I was looking at didn't run drain soul. Maybe it's because it's just not very good. No, 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 not that. Double reverb, no. Wait, if this discards table flip, does it do 10 damage or does it? No, it won't do 10 damage. Oh God, that's not as good as I thought it was. Oh, this just feels so bad. Double Hellfire? Instead of Drain Soul? Leroy Reverb? Not a bad idea. The Gaslight Gatekeeper? I don't know. The Gaslight Gatekeeper didn't feel very good to me. Nemzi versus Reska. All right. So I'm looking at my hand. I'm thinking, goodness gracious, we got the Doomkin. Pog champ. The rest of the cards aren't really that good, though. Doomkin apparently isn't that good either. 
But I, I think it's, I think it is really good though. But I guess there are other cards that you want earlier on in the game that can help you draw and stuff. So I guess we'll get rid of it. I guess we'll see. I don't think this is better. Yeah, I don't think that's, this is pretty good though. Uh, I'll just play the weapon. It's fine. Actually, I shouldn't have played the weapon. I need, I, I'm supposed to play the weapon on turn three. Because I don't get to actually like heal off of this, but I guess I don't take the damage in the first place, which is okay. And we draw the Doomkin anyway, which is nice. I like that. We are trying to draw as many things as possible and go through our deck. I'm going to trade away Restaurant Viper. The hope is... Defile's pretty good at dealing with mining casualties. Gul'dan's Gift, no thank you. Just not right now anyway. Okay. Fracking will be decent on turn four, possibly. We can definitely make use of it. I'm trying to think here. Since I've drawn you, is how big of a problem is that? Sure, that's okay. Um, a 7-7. Seven, seven. He probably plays the minion that gives stuff poisonous, but I don't think that that's a big deal. I can probably just kill it if he commits that card. So it's not even that big of a deal. But a 7-7 seven, seven for four mana to just protect me is definitely solid. I will probably play, I guess, do I want to play Doomkin first or not? I don't know. I ain't talking. Well, I guess that makes my decision for me of Doomkin versus Loken. Could you imagine if he had pulled a 15-15? Why did you just raw play that? That's crazy. No, I guess it makes sense. He, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good play. And it became significantly worse after I drew this anyway, so it's it's fine. It's gotta be Forge, right? We already have a Doomkin, so we don't need that. A thousand chat messages today. Sick. Thank you so much, everybody. ETC is very good and flexible, but I want tempo on board. I need to be able to fight for the game a little bit here. Oh, that hurts my soul to do that, but I think it's still correct. This goes here, this goes here. Actually, I guess I could have killed that to play around the Poisonous Minion, but if he didn't play it last turn, eh, he could still play it this turn. Your thoughts on the new Demon Pawns? Oh, um... I just think it's a little bit slow. Like, given the, the speed of the meta that we have right now, I don't think you're ever gonna be able to really play them. That's the um like the the eight mana like taunt that summons two knights or something, right? Or maybe I'm thinking of a different card. I don't I don't fully remember. I apologize. Oh, but he doesn't give him poisonous. <sighs> so that's nice. But we gotta play you next turn, and then after that we'll figure something out. Ah jeez. Ah jeez. <laughs> Two mana left, you coin. Wow. I mean, what are you gonna do with all those cards when you don't have the mana to play them, idiot? I guess I'll smack this. He he doesn't heal anything. It doesn't really matter. It's basically I'm doing that so that way he can't kill it with a hero power and just move on with his day. Yikes. This is a little bit rough, I'm going to be honest. My main problem with decks like this, like even Rainbow Mage and all that, is when a deck relies entirely on like one card, it feels really bad because if you don't get that one card... Your deck kind of just like flat lines for a bit. Oh shit. That is See we draw. We'll 
We'll go with a uh, mortal coil to draw another card. We're basically just hard searching. We are hard searching for the one card. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking? Oh my god. Okay. Um. Fuck you, man. Game, help me out here. Throw me a bone. Give me something. <laughs> I know mean, play Sargeras on turn nine, but dude, this is like the third game in a row. I just like haven't drawn the wheel. Oh shit. Is this a Hellfire turn? I think this is a Hellfire turn. I don't think I play Sargeras. Rustraw Viper is pretty nice. I take three damage, but I get to destroy the weapon. What other weapons could they run? It gets rid of eight damage, which is relevant. And then we'll kill the weapon. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not losing. I'm not dead. Everything is okay. Ladies and gentlemen, everything is okay. All right. Just need to somehow not die. Wait, you run army? Okay, so it's a Highlander deck for sure. Which means he probably plays Reno. That sucks, man. 99% sure he just plays Reno. Which means I would rather play this first. Oof, I really like Mortal Eradication here. I really, really like it. Oh, we didn't draw it. Okay, whatever. Um, we'll do this. We'll get two 15 15s. We're baiting out Reno here. Or at least we're trying to. So that way we can play Sargeras in a little bit and hopefully do fine on that. We'll get rid of both of these to get rid of the death rattles. He plays Reno. I would say statistically it's quite. No, wait, he doesn't have Reno. He plays two mining cat. Then why the fuck do you play Army of the Dead? This is a card you just run in your deck. My guy, read the room. Oh my gosh, he plays Reska. No, okay, it's still fine. I heal 15 and I can wipe the board so it doesn't matter. I hate this game, I hate it so much. Remnants of life. Well, we're definitely playing Sargeras and sucking everything next turn, that's for sure. I was hoping that I would heal. I was hoping that I would heal a little bit. I did not heal. Oh my god. Reverb, no. Where's the wheel, man? I'm losing my mind out here. Suck. I mean, it's still an infinite number of three twos, which is something, but they're not, they're not going to have taunt, which is problematic. Wait, Resco was a gifted card? Wait, he discovered Resco off of something? Created by Frost Strike? You're kidding. My mind is fucked right now. I don't understand what's happening. You got Resco randomly from that shit? And you just kill circuit. Oh. Give me the wheel, please. I'm begging you. Where's the wheel? All right. Um. Heal a little bit. Um, do I want him to draw more cards? Not really. I don't really need to do damage because again, I'll win the game with this eventually, but. Where is it? 
Where is Rena? Where is Wheel of Death? My two win conditions are fucking gone, dude. Oh. It's fine. I get endless minions. It's fine. Oh, it's so much damage. Just don't. Just draw me the. What do I want? Oh my god, he's gonna put duplicates into my deck. Oh. This game is so shit. Thank you for finally drawing me the fucking wheel, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, um. I destroy my Reno. My last board wipe. Shit. I mean, I get en endless twos. I can kill a minion with reverb. So if he summons one big minion, I've got two table flips, which is fine. It's 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 okay. Oh God. You have earned an eternity of torment. You top decked Helia. You top decked Helia. Heal six, heal six, just don't drop plagues, I guess. You. Are you. Uh... A new planet to burn. Literally top decked, man. Look, it's actually not that bad. There's a world where I can just not drop plagues and I'd be, I'd be fine. Reverb defile. Oh, God. On the bright side, I'm glad I didn't draw Reno because this would have been super tilting. I wouldn't have been able to play him. Oh. And you got the head already? Oh no. My pain doesn't compare to your plague. Oh, I draw two plagues. Fuck off. Impressive. You win this time. Dude, I don't know how this deck's supposed to win. I'm I'm at a fucking loss. I don't understand how this deck works. I'm losing my fucking mind playing this deck. I should not be losing this much with this deck. I just shouldn't be. But I am. I'm losing like every other game. It's like a 50% win rate deck, which I don't think should be the case. I feel like this deck feels really good when it works. When it works, it feels amazing. But not drawing Wheel of Death, having it be literally like the sixth or the eighth from the bottom card. Oh, God. Nemzi versus Gul'dan. We got a Forge of Wills, which is decent. Into this matchup, it might actually be relevant. Table Flip is not. Table Flip is not relevant here. This card is not really kept. This card is very good on three, though. Very happy to see that. Reno? Isn't bad. If he plays Sargeras and I respond with Reno, that's not bad. Don't love drawing him. I feel like I've drawn... Phantom so many times so far. Oh, it's been rough. I don't like having the heart, but he top decked it, I think, so I don't think it matters too much to him. The problem is if I play this on three and I play Dark Alley Pact, it is always weaker than imposing Anubiseth on turn four. So 
Do I even play it on turn four is the question. I don't know. I don't know. Get rid of a Doomkin? No, you need two Doomkins. If you don't have two Doomkins in this deck, it's going to be significantly harder for you to win. The reason why it would become significantly harder for you to win is because you no longer have a reliable way of increasing your mana and getting to Wheel of Death. So how this deck works is you need to play the Wheel of Death as soon as possible so that way they don't have as much time to like ramp up into it, if that makes sense. Uh, one thing will die here, but it'll be Mortal Eradication to kill it off. I'm fine with that. Gul'dan's Gift would have been better, um, but we'll do that into this, and then we get to go face for six. Probably play you next turn and hope to get Sargeras. But if you don't have a reliable way of increasing your mana to, to eight by slowing them down a turn and speeding you up by a turn, if you play Wheel of Death just naturally on eight, you're going to lose pretty much every time. Pretty much. Not guaranteed, obviously. There will be some slower matchups where you can probably make it work, but a lot of the time it's not going to be good for you. Because they're going to play Doomkin against me this game. So... I'm going to be significantly far behind. But then again, if they don't have the wheel, like it's still okay. We're still pushing 20 damage. That doesn't actually kill my minions if he gets um, deal six. He heals, please no. Coin defile sucks, man. But again, no wheel. If he plays the wheel first, I just concede though. Okay. Forge of Wills is interesting. I like it. Technically should have life tap. Okay, so we have the wheel. They can't play the wheel. I'm playing the wheel first every single time. I lose Sargeras, but I still have Reno, and I'm going to have two 15-15s. So I think this is okay. Is it okay? I'm trying to think if it's okay, actually. And, oh, we drew Symphony of Sins. Oh, it is. We are chillin'. And like in this matchup, we didn't get the Doomkin, so I guess it didn't end up mattering. This is a bad example. But like, if they had had Doomkin, we probably would have lost. If that makes sense. Like, that's just how it is. Most likely. If they had Doomkin and the wheel, they win the matchup. Usually. I did have really good tempo though, so I guess there's a world where I could have just beat him down, but. Could get like a Siphon Soul with the Gul'dan's Gift to kill off the 15-15. Is that enough? No way, dude. Really? And it doesn't even lifesteal me. Holy shit. That was good. But hold on. Uh, I'm gonna just do this actually. He's like, fuck, I'm done. <laughs> Oof. That was good. With a Nemzi that felt good? Interesting. Double spell drawer minion, you thin the spells, you get more tempo. I guess table flip has been worse than I have been expecting it to be. I'll run that. I'll try it. It is a little bit more tempo too, you're right. Do you mean um this minion? The sketch artist? Let me know if you meant the sketch artist. Table flip, dude. Table flip has proven to be both really good sometimes and really bad other times. Like it has been a complete dead draw. Wait, what did I get rid of? Wait, 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 wait. What was the other card? What the heck? I misclicked. 
Did I get rid of ETC? God damn it. Now I've got to figure out what I put in them again. He meant the Naga? Wait, what Naga? Oh, this? But this doesn't draw a spell. Oh, it gets to keep its stuff. Sick. I don't know. I just feel like table flip isn't enough because most of the time, most of these boards are just too big. What do I play Nemzi skin? I don't know. I don't really change my skins very often. I'll run him, I guess. Dude, I don't understand why sometimes I will get rid of like a good removal spell and then I'll immediately go against aggro even though I haven't played against hunter in like ages. I do really like this hand though. I oh I really like this hand. No, I should have kept that. Mm. I probably should have kept that. I was a little bit hasty getting rid of dark alley pact, but considering I'll probably be playing most of my cards any Wait, Wait what? I'm gonna go the harp. I'm gonna go the harp here. Interesting. Uh, okay. I will take a lot of damage. I did draw Sargeras. Okay, so what's my plan here? Life tap. Let him play some more things, and then I play Mortal. Eradication. Damn. This plus this or this. Oh, man. The problem is if he plays a secret, it could very easily be the um, secret that gets rid of or it sends a spell back to my hand. So I'm going to play the coin because I don't want it to get countered. It wasn't that one. Damn. Well, we'll heal up six then or I guess five. And then go fracking. He does get hidden meaning, but I'll play this. It's fine. Reverb, removal, defile. It has to be. Getting rid of Rust Rot Viper hurts, but I think removal is just better. I think removal is just better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get hidden meaning. I knew that. I knew that was coming. We have Hellfire, though, which is nice. Imposing Anubis at this is also just pretty nice. Oh, he gets two secrets that way. Okay. Okay with that. This is unfortunate, but fair. Please switch your hero skins more regularly. I'll I'll switch them between um every couple of games from now on. If that's what if that's something that you guys uh, would like to see, I'll I'll definitely do that. Yeah. What? Oh, it's another hidden meaning. I was like, what the heck do you mean? What would you say is the best deck right now? Either aggro hunter or paladin. And I don't even really think it's close. Like other decks have a higher skill cap and could theoretically be better, but I it, it's not even really <laughs> better. Interesting. I expected it to be the new, the secret that's not showing the ice trap. I expected it to be ice trap there. Oh, fuck. I go hellfire here. Oh, God. I'm at 11. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, it hurts. Do I life tap? 
I should have done it a turn earlier. The sketch artist would be so slow. Damn, dude. I do think Hunter's just a bad matchup. They just have so much pressure. Magic and magma go hand in hand. All right. All right, we can wipe this board actually. It's not, dude, fuck off. I'm just dead. Like, I've, I've already lost. It doesn't fucking matter. I can't even play you. Like, they didn't even have that particularly, like, strong of a board. Oh. Okay, so there needs to be something that heals me. I need more healing in this deck. I, 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 I'm dying to everything. Drain soul? But that doesn't deal with the board enough. Like, we need a card that does, like, deal three damage to all enemy minions and heal you, and, like, lifesteal for a mana. And then maybe then we have the, the tools to beat Paladin and, and Hunter. Dude. I think the sketch artist is bad, though. The whole time I was just thinking, like, I hope I don't draw the sketch artist. So I'm going to take out. out. Also, don't really want Dark Alley packed. The more I think about it, the more I just keep, like, losing. With it in my hand. So what do I want instead? Dude, I just keep dying to like Paladin and Hunter. I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, the 2-2? Two -two? No, that 2-2 two is not that bad, actually. The 2-2 two -two could definitely work. This deck is so, like, I'm trying to figure out how to optimize it. Maybe I take out... Mecha Jaraxis versus Jaina! You asked for it. You face the ultimate mining... Okay, uh, we don't want any of these. Well, we want Doomkin, I think. But other than Doomkin to try to slow them down, I feel like the rest of this hand is pretty bad. Okay, the Geo's fine. Gives me some good card draw. I'll play you on six so we get big pressure. Unless we draw our big minions, in which case we'll probably play you. One Mega Heal is like on the first expansion, okay. And then, oh no, sorry. One Maker feels great on the first expansion, okay on the second, bad on the third. Take out the Wheel of Death. Uh, no, cause it's kind of my win condition. But, uh, good try. Dude, I just take so much damage from, like, everything. It's kind of insane. I'm trying to think. Because, like, the problem is the more minions that I put in this deck, the worse and worse Loken becomes, right? 
Uh, shit. Well, this makes it even worse. I don't really want to get rid of him, though, because I have the wheel, which means I can just play him on turn 7 for free. I'll take it. I'm honestly kind of tempted to take out Logan. Because one, he's always getting in the way of the Doomkin, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But two, the more I put in cheaper minions to help me fight for the board, the harder it becomes for Loken to actually work. Because like, what if he gets the Geode or what if he gets the Tentacle? And yeah, right now I'm drawing those cards, so it's not the worst thing in the world. But like, I'm not always going to draw them. Literally every deck that isn't Hand Paladin, Aggro Hunter, or Aggro Demon Hunter is just bad right now. Not just Plague Death Knight. Plague Death Knight's not even that bad, hello? This, I think, protects me the most late game. Actually, this gives me lifesteal, so I think it's okay for me to just bonk that. We'll play Doomkin on 6, though. You need the Giants Rorin's version? I don't think so. None of the best decks that I've seen or best like top tier players that are playing this deck are running Giants. And I mean, there's a possibility that everybody's just wrong right now because it's the beginning of the expansion. But like if it's not even really being experimented with, I would just assume that it's not as good as, as this. I'm just trying to figure out all the cards that like suck and all the cards that are good. And so far, Loken has been hit or miss. The, um, the Dark Alley Pact, or the, whatever it's called, has been fine-ish. But I took it out because a lot of the times it's a pretty small minion, actually. Like, at the end of the day, it really just summons you, like, a 5-5 five five or a 6-6 six six most of the time. Uh, life tap into this, into this. If I had drawn this a turn sooner, it would have been sick. Actually, I could have played this instead of these two things. No, I messed up. I should have played this instead of these two. Because that way, I could have played this and this and made an extra 15-15 all in the same turn. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to make this deck work better. And I think more draw with things like the Geode is very good to help me try to find the wheel as consistently as possible. Oh, that's cool. But the problem is, again, running smaller minions and drawing a lot of cards makes Loken less and less and less effective. Because... Well, because it, it just doesn't really work that well. Like, if you're drawing a bunch of cards, you're more likely to draw Sargeras and Phantom, which means that this is worse, and you're more likely to randomly get a, a smaller minion. So I think I'm taking out Loken, even though everything about him, he should be good in this deck. I can't do it. Maybe we can put in some sort of removal or something. I don't know. Maybe we take out ETC because ETC feels a little bit slow, but I do like having the Glacial Shard as an option. But I also don't want it to be in my hand or in my deck. Because it's good against Odin Warrior and it's good against Thief Rogue and it's also pretty decent against Paladin to stop him from attacking for a turn. But it's okay. I'll destroy my deck. Oh. We don't take fatigue damage for three turns. Which is pretty nice, because we really only take fatigue damage on the final turn then. But like now he's also just useless, right? Like I guess I could play him now and then play the wheel next turn, so I guarantee like Sargeras. But even then it's not a guarantee. I have a I have a three fourths chance of getting no, I have a three-fifths chance of getting him, it's just not worth it. We basically have two Twisting Nethers, though, with this and then you. A reverb to kill off any individual really large minion, which I think is quite strong. Like, I'm fine with this. I just need to not die in the next several turns. And I could die to, like, Sif. But, we'll see. Is Odin Warrior any good? I think Odin Warrior is fine, but I just think that like Paladin and Hunter are so overtuned right now that even a deck that's pretty good and can beat most other decks just loses to Paladin and Hunter, so it's considered bad, like win rate wise. I 
I mean, okay, look, there are definitely other decks that I want to try. Like the one with Leroy, where you pump Leroy and then you reverb him. Seems pretty sick. Okay. Holy shit, I'm able to hit him for 15 damage. Look. That was bad. I should have played the 7-7. Seven, seven. It's okay, though. It's not that big of a deal. Technically, Gul'dan's Gift is more flexible, so I will keep that instead. And I hope I just don't die to Sif in, like, two turns. Because I basically just need to live three more turns. Greetings from Europe. Happy to catch you live. Well, I'm glad that you caught me live, Vita. I'm happy that you're here, and I'm happy that uh, you're having a good time. Spell Hunter's crazy. I hit Legend and went like 11 and 2. Yeah. Hunter is pretty strong right now. Oh my gosh. Another one? Is that a reverbable card? Reverbable? You know what I mean. Is that a card that I should reverb? Or should I just siphon soul it? I'm just gonna siphon soul it. It's not that big of a deal. I still have another Twisting Nether. I feel relatively okay, but again, Sif could kill me in the next two turns. I just need to live through two more. Come on. No Sif. No Sif. You have drawn through half of your deck. How many spell schools have you even played? You've played an Arcane. You've played a Frost. You've played a Fire. Okay, cool. We're just going to win the game. Sick. I'm going to take Loken out. Hold on. I want to run the crane, but the problem is I don't think the crane's very good. Um, cards that do damage to me. I mean, I have this that does damage to me twice. And this does damage to me. And then Symphony of Sins can sometimes do damage to me. Is it ever worth to run this? For four mana, I think it's kind of ass. What else could I play on four? I think five gets a little bit slow, but maybe if there's something like really good on five, because that's usually kind of like my, my weakest turn. I do think that five is my weakest turn though. Interesting potential. No, no. This attacks and kills me attack again, but that's just not big enough to deal with pal. Like, okay, so what am I trying to deal with against Paladin? Really, really big minions and some weapon removal with like Rust Rout Viper, which I can trade away. Death Knight also has a lot of big minions, though, is the problem. No, the Viper is really, really good. It, it shuts down Paladin quite well. 
The Restaurant Viper is very good. I don't think Loken's good. Because if I'm running one, two, three, four, five, I guess I can take out these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different minions. Loken's not doing well in a lot of instances. Like, if I take out Restaurant Viper, I could possibly run, like, two Soul Freezes. But again, I'm taking damage. Another reverb wouldn't hurt, I guess. It's good removal. It can help me deal with a couple of different things. There's some really big minions that like a paladin can get. I can steal their lifesteal minion and heal up a lot with it. Could have also been Zilliax, but I still think Zilliax is slow. Good apple. We never want to keep, um, Phantom. I don't think we want to keep any of these. Reverb is maybe okay if they summon a giant, giant, but I think there are better cards that they can get. Yes, really like Forge of Wills, really like Forge of Wills. You are an okay card, but the problem is if I don't have Highlander, uh, Reno's kind of duty. Duty? Poo poo. Dookie is what I meant to say. I don't know. Uh, Mage can be even more annoying with all the freezes and stuff it has. Mage is in an interesting spot because I think it's pretty weak right now, to be honest. But I think that it is also has a lot of potential. I still think Rainbow Mage is, is always got the potential to be pretty good. I'll kill that off. I don't heal anything, but it's okay. Then we'll play this on three, this on four, play a little bit of tempo, draw maybe on turn five. I don't know. Oh, no. What the heck? That was pretty annoying. But it's okay. No real worries. It's just, I mean, obviously this version of the deck might not stand the test of time. Especially if Paladin and Hunter get nerfed and the meta does slow down. I do think that card's like, oh shit. I do have one Rust Rot Viper, but I don't know if that's... So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna wait until they pump up their weapon a ton, and then I'm gonna slap down Rust Rot Viper, and I'm gonna be happy. The problem is I only run one Rust Rot Viper, so there's a world where they have a second weapon and they just pop off. They didn't draw a weapon with the combo, which either means A, they already have it, or B, they don't think they need it. And I think if I can get to Sargeras and get infinite taunt minions, that could be solid. Is there ever a world where I just try to play tempo and I don't play Wheel of Death because they outvalue me with the weapon anyway? If I get a 6-6 six, six reborn minion. I'm happy. Deal 6, heal 6 is also okay. Pretty good. We're just gonna apply as much pressure as possible, I think. I don't think that this game will be won with the wheel. I think that's another thing that's important to like try to learn with this deck is that you need to know like what win condition to use in what situation. In some situations, obviously the wheel of death is your main win condition, but in this one, this weapon can snowball out of control extremely quickly. And if that happens, I'm gonna lose because I'll play the wheel and then they'll slap me in the face for like 15 damage in one swing because of all the pumps they have. So this matchup is going to be Tempo, destroy their weapon when they pour a ton of resources into it, and then they can't come back, basically. How much time do you think um, the leader needs to set up the best decks in class? Um, Or do you mean like the ladder, like the best people on ladder? Um, I mean, I think it's always shifting. I think it's very hard to say like when something is the absolute best, because again, I think that things will be nerfed and buffed relatively soon and then things will completely get turned on their head and especially with buffs because we don't know what direction those are going to go because some things do feel very weak obviously nerfs will make some th like most things more competitive but some other things will be buffed and it'll be an absolute disaster 
And then after the things get settled, I think it would usually take about a week or two. All of a sudden, after a week or two, they, um... Interesting. After about a week or two, I think it probably takes the time for it's able to do it. But yeah, they're just not able to beat this. I make another 6-6. Six, six. I mortal uh, eradication these, and they're just dead. I thought you were running two vipers. I only run one. Because I do think two's overkill. Because it's only good in some matchups. Mecha Jaraxis versus Sir Finley. It's crazy that I haven't played against like any paladins yet. Because I actually really wanted to play against paladins. You're probably wondering why do you want to play against paladin? Is because I want to test this deck out against the best, okay? I've been, I've been messing around with it, but I literally started putting in different cards and trying to build around how to beat Paladin and how to beat Hunter. Those are the two matchups that this deck has struggled with the most because they get giant boards and they can do a lot of damage and do a lot of stupid stuff. So I've been trying to figure out how to actually beat that. I don't want to play the Harp turn one. There's nothing to heal. And I want to keep um, hand information so they don't really know what's coming next. What's <sighs> well, that's pretty rude because it has divine shield. I guess it's fine. We can play the tentacle and at least does some damage. Like it doesn't do the damage necessarily, but it does get rid of the divine shield, which makes it easier to kill. Like if they play hand of a doll, I can still kill it. I'm still fighting for the board a little bit, and that's very important against Paladin with the early game aggression. Yeah, I have too many minions to justify Loken. I took him out. Like, Loken's really good, but also, if I'm trying to draw as many cards as possible, I'm almost always drawing Sargeras or Phantom. And then also, because I have a lot of minions, I sometimes miss on Sargeras and Phantom altogether. So it's just more worth it to take them out and put in more removal. Things like Reverberations. They play a giant Rush Lifesteal Divine Shield minion. Fuck it. It's mine now. I'm going to heal up a ton. And then hopefully I can outsteal you by playing a massive Twisting Nether at some point. That's, that's the basic plan. Mortal Eradication feels very good here. But at the same time, hitting here is not bad. Boom. Then I'll play this afterwards because I'm going to take a little bit more damage and then I can start healing up after. But already I've, I've healed a little bit, right? I've, I've stayed a little bit more in the game because I run a couple of these cheaper minions, which I like quite a bit. But yeah, I don't know if this version is necessarily better and it might change if buffs and nerfs come out and Paladin and Hunter become weaker. But I like this version quite a bit. It makes me feel like I'm doing stuff every turn. Paladin, you just need a lot of taunts. That's not true, though, because they'll get giant minions that'll eventually get through your taunts, and then they will just kill your ass. Ugh. Man, are you kidding me? This is bullshit. <laughs> a life tap. Reno's not bad. Maybe I just hit the three. Because that could set up a defile easier if they play a one at some point. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. It makes it a little bit easier. to Because they can't really pump up minions already on the board. They probably play the weapon this turn, which is a problem. But if they do, I just play Mortal Eradication. Five mana. You're coining out something. Okay. Maybe I should have killed the 2-2. Two, two. I don't know. Oh. Oh, no. He's going to pump things up a ton. I mean, it's not that much damage on the board right now. I think it's okay to just, like, chill. Wild players, paladins have a lifesteal aura on game. The first aura of paladins on WoW was protection. 
I mean, protection is different than like life steal, so that way you can never die because you also have the most damage of any class. Like you basically gave one of the most aggressive high damage classes in the game. Uh, I also don't think that the wheel is my win condition this game, so I'm gonna play this and hopefully wipe their board by dealing six damage. Just reset the board. Drawing a minion doesn't really matter too much here. Um, but yeah, my win condition, like I just said, is not by playing the wheel. It just isn't. The main win condition that I have here is to eventually outvalue him with my one, two, three, four massive board wipes and a couple of other decent board wipes as well. That's eight damage. The problem is, I can leave this 8-7 up, but f Paladin is so fucking broken that if I leave this 8-7 up for one turn, they can give it plus attack and divine shield and just kill me. But I do get rid of a mana crystal, so they can only do 16 damage if they give it div or divine shield, wind fury, and fuck all. Um, but dude, it's so frustrating having to deal with this shit sometimes. Like, ugh, Paladin is so frustrating. You, you, you have to deal with the weapon that they play or they're going to pump up their hand three times. You can't leave a minion on the board or else they're going to pump it, but you can't be too low on HP because they're going to play Leroy from hand and kill you or play the 2-1 Pirate from hand and just kill you. Um, you, you can't outvalue them super well late game most of the time because their stats are so high you can't kill their minions. They just eventually beat you down. Uh, and they're paladin, so they have divine shield and they have great tempo early game. It's just mm, something something needs to be nerfed. Also, they have lifesteal, so you can't aggro them down either. Just mmm. Paladin is very frustrating right now. What about the aura that gives the left or right take one less damage? That would be kind of cool. I can't waste this. This is very, very important. So I think it's gotta be just you. And to maybe even just mortal eradication. Or it could just be trade summon a 7-7. Seven, seven. You know what? I don't care if they heal. Fuck you. It doesn't matter. We'll play a 7-7. Seven, seven. If you play a 7-7 seven, seven rush divine shield minion, I'll be like, bet, I'm gonna steal it with reverberations and it's mine now, you dumb idiot. And then he's gonna cry. But dude, Leroy for late, dude, the fact that they have Leroy for late, how am I supposed to ever outvalue that? Infinite taunts with Sargeras is like my only hope. Couldn't you reverb to heal? No, because this is an aura that's only on his minions. If I took it from him, he would not have the aura. I wouldn't actually get the lifesteal. So I have to use my reverb on a minion that actually has lifesteal like his stupid cat. That's basically Zilliax for three mana that also has a mini form for some fucking reason. Like, why would you give them a three mana Zilliax when Zilliax was already like the perfect car? It just doesn't, it just doesn't have taunt, but the taunt was like the least important thing on Zilliax anyway. And magnetic, but that didn't matter. Like that cat could be four mana. That cat could be five mana and still be good. Well, okay, five mana might be kind of bad, but it could be, it could, you get the point. God damn, dude. Play another one. Play another one, you dipshit, okay. I heal. I'm gonna overdraw a card, but I think three mana to draw six is just too good to pass up, honestly. Fracking isn't great. Well, actually, if we get Hellfire off of this, Reno's active, which is not bad. Honestly, we technically don't even need Hellfire. We just need it to be gone. Burning cards from the top of his deck might just be best. Problem is, if I take the time to play the Wheel of Death, I just lose. 
Oh God, there's so much wrong with this. I don't think Hellfire is big enough to kill their minions, so I'll just take the Envy. Hmm, we'll overdraw a card, but we've got Sargeras. And Reno is active, so we just need to not die? You should have... Oh, wait, I could have killed the 2-3 and then... No, you're right. No, that was stupid. No, you're right. I could have killed that and then did this to kill the reverb. I don't know why I didn't. No, you're right. He shouldn't even have a 5-1 on the board. If I lose because of that, that's true. I think... No, that's a big misplay. I didn't even realize that. I played too fast. You're 100% right. Now they're going to just buff Wind Fury? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm just dead. The anger on the cat controlled you? Dude, I hate that fucking cat. I just wanted it to die. But you're right. I, I, I overstepped a little bit. I wonder if I ever play the wheel. Time's over. And then play the giant 15-15 minion. Kind of trolled a little bit. I don't think it really matters what I overdraw at this point. Nothing else really matters in this deck. That card was pretty decent, but it's not going to be like game breaking. Either Sargeras or Reno. I'm thinking Reno. Because then he's not going to play that many things. And then I can play Sargeras. Uh, looking for a standoff? Sure. It's against me. It limits what he can play next turn. I don't want to draw a card. Why is it that one? It could have been any of the other ones. I don't really want to draw a card either. Because it'll do damage to me. Even. Like, it'll heal me too now. But then it'll do two damage to me after. And I'd also rather save a one-drop minion for Defiles. So let's just pass and not overdraw. I'm, I I I took five more damage. I should be at 24. Are you just going to play one giant minion? I would be very pissed. No, that turn was probably Sargeras Infinite Taunts because he had so few things on board. And then I could have Renoed the next turn. Because his minions on board were shit. They were like two attack, two attack, two attack. So I should have played Sargeras for infinite taunt minions. And then played Reno next turn after he committed to the board. Because now... Well... No, I don't know if it's, if it's worse this way. But you're right. The, the anger of the cat blinded me. Why would I play wheel? I don't think the wheel is how I win this game. Oh, fuck you. I'm alive with one, so that's cool, I guess. Wait, what? Am I not? That's fucked. I took five damage and I lost for it. I actually was in such a good position that game. Other than that, I think I had played really, really well. If I had just traded the way that you all told me to trade and I didn't take five more damage, I don't die there. Also, again, infinite taunt minions was just better. I, I completely threw the last two turns. That's my fault. It's not even necessarily the deck. That was, that was fine. That wasn't the deck's fault. I threw that game. Um, I like healing. I like healing. Fracking's decent. For one mana, it'll be good. Like, for one mana, it's basically, like, tracking. So I can find whatever I want. And I do like having the tentacle early on as well. I don't think I play the harp until after I've taken a little bit of damage, though. Hmm. Looks like I'm probably going to be taking damage anyway, so let's play the harp. But no, yeah, that game was so winnable. I, I I choked that one. That was my bad. I played bad at the end. No one's going to believe this.
Doesn't really matter what it hits. Okay. Well, I wanted it to kill a minion, but that's fine. Uh, that's bad. That's not good. That's pretty bad. Now, where is that Defile? True, I had Defile last game against a Paladin, where all of their minions had 17 HP, so I couldn't kill them. But now, when I need Defile the most, he vanished. It's like the Avatar, man. But coin the removal? It, it wouldn't remove the stuff, though. So I don't really care. I want him to... He's going to play the 4-1 Tremors. He's going to play two things. And then I'm going to wipe them all with Mortal Eradication. I take more damage right now. But I kill his entire board. Like, this is what I want. This is literally what I wanted, by the way. I was literally saying what was going to happen. That's why I didn't coin out Mortal Eradication. Because now I just go, boop. And they're all dead. I heal back up to full. And I have enough mana to play the next one. And I still have the coin for later. The Tendril, the only way the Tendril didn't work out was if it hit the... One of the one ones. But even then, Mortal Eradication would kill off most of his minions next turn. Like, even in the worst case scenario, it was still okay. Uh, I will play ETC here, actually. He's a 4-4. Four, four. He can contest the board a little bit. Don't need to play Fracking. I will take um, the Gift, because I think this is too slow, and this is not the most important. But this can give me Siphon Soul to kill something. It can give me a uh, Mortal Coil to kill off a 4-1. It can do a couple of different things for me here. Tried conceding until uh, I had Helia in an opening hand, first draw. Anyone want to guess how many games I conceded? In your opening hand, so, oh, plus first draw. So, like, including mulligans and stuff. I would say it's got to be a pretty decent number. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Hello? This guy's trolling. This guy's like, me hunter, me go face. Like, what are you talking about, dude? You're literally just going to lose your board and allow me to just draw a card and heal. What are you doing? guy's delusional but I, my guess would be like four games i don't think it'll be that much but like if you're unlucky a couple of games in a row like the longest streak i had was like eight maybe where i didn't get hell yeah no when i played a lot like <sighs> wait fuck your interaction <laughs> get wrecked all right <sighs> there are a couple of different things that i can do here We'll go f this first and then fracking to see if I can try to get a symphony. We want the six damage or a taunt. Minion. It's okay. Reborn taunts fine. Then we'll go uh, fracking. Again, the win condition this game is not the wheel. The wheel is not how we win this game. Uh, the forge, however, could be very good. Reverb is also saw. I'll take the forge. take the forge because like if i draw the seven seven i can give it rush it's not bad that way probably has to hit into the six six at least a couple of times ah shit did i just get rid of my rust rot viper no i didn't that that is gonna pump up the stuff fuck Oh, okay. No, he has to full trade into that. That's fine. Reno's not active. I will siphon soul this so he can't keep pumping stuff up. And then... I guess fracking again. I guess technically I can fracking this. And I still have enough mana. We do get a 7-7, seven, seven, which is relevant. We could play this plus that, but this plus siphon soul is too expensive. Hold on. This plus Siphon Soul's five mana. Destroy. I think a 7-7 seven, seven taunt minion's probably best. I do lose that, which definitely sucks, but it's pretty strong stuff for this. We can coin out Sargeras next turn and get infinite taunt minions, or we can play like the wheel and then just play this. Oh my god. Maybe we go uh, Sargeras and then we just wipe the board, actually. That might be better. That's probably better. Um, you know what? When I say it's probably better, it just is better. We can get infinite taunts afterwards and we're, we're chilling. Like, this game, is, this game is mostly over. 
Like I said, putting in a lot more front-loaded things has been very, very good for this deck. Just front-loading all of these minions and taking out some of the really greedy cards has been absolutely exceptional with this deck recently. I mean, I want to be able to play this and this on the same turn, but I think next turn it's just going to be like this with a taunt minion and then generate infinite taunts and just, just, just do some good damage. I mean, could he still kill me? Absolutely. It could definitely still happen. Maybe it is just wheel into 15, 15 lifesteal minion. Fuck off. <laughs> that is bullshit. He gets Huffer. I get infinite taunt minions. I get a 15 15 taunt that dies to two hits. But the only way that I can activate Reno in any reasonable amount of time is if I do this. Let's see what this gives me first. Never mind, I'm glad that I did that. Fuck you, idiot. Don't need to play the wheel. I just get to kill your ass. It feels so good. Holy shit, man. Uh, I will hold on on the little light tap. Oh, that felt amazing. Oh, I think I still would have been fine with the 15-15 taunt, but drawing that was... F oh, it felt so good. All right. Well, that's a little bit annoying. I'll be honest. Where is the file? Oh, he's going to concede. Thank goodness, dude. Oh, man. Literally, I designed this deck specifically to fight for the board early and beat War Hunter, and I still only barely beat it. Hunter is insane right now. Oh, my gosh. Are you a dev? Oscar's not a dev. Oscar, you son of a gun. You've done it again. That's my last game, by the way. Jaraxis versus Arthas. Oh, it's a paladin. My moment has come. I'm going to beat him. We're going to keep reverb because we want to try to kill off his big minion. I actually lied. We're not going to keep reverb because apparently it's not very good. We're going to get rid of everything and we're going to look for better cards. One drops, two drops, things that draw me things that I can use to stay in the game. Uh, This is actually very good. My hope is we get to play a really good curve and he doesn't play 1-1 one, one Divine Shield. Uh, why the hell are you playing that right now? Does it feel like a waste of a coin to do this? No. Because I kill off a 2-1 and I can life tap next turn and take no damage because then I'll hit. Or if he plays the 2-2, two, two, I can just kill it. If he's, uh, he probably forges, though. Oh, okay. Okay. We kill off that minion, and we keep going face. We'll play this next turn. He'll probably play the 3-mana uh, 2-4, which I think is worse than just forging. He probably should have... Oh. That's so cringe, actually, because I can't even kill that. Why the fuck is this 3-mana? Actually, why is this three mana? This should be a four mana card easily. And it would still be good. 
It's fine. It's whatever. I'm getting tilted just thinking about it. We're gonna play this. We're gonna slap this in the face. We're gonna save reverb for hopefully a potentially bigger minion later on. Um. Oh god, he's pumping up his board so much. And then he's gonna OTK me with Leroy. Oh. It might be a bot. The name is just a random assortment of letters and stuff, but like. Even a bot paladin is probably favored to win most games. <laughs> because paladin is just that stupid. When you see the cat, you really get triggered. Yeah, why does paladin get to have Zilliax for three mana that also makes another 1-1 one, one divine shield taunt rush lifesteal minion? God. I hate this card. This card and the aura, I think, are the two biggest problems and this weapon. You know what? Actually, there are a lot of problems. You know what? Scratch that. There are a lot of problems. Oh my god! He just killed my whole board! Oh my god! What do you mean? It's all gone! It's all gone! Alright, Symphony of Sins, Steel 6 damage, or a Reborn. Sure, Reborn's pretty good. Pretty good. We like it, we'll keep it. The best part is if they summon a giant ass minion and I reverb it, I can then get a rush minion with the full stats, which is hope. You know, that's what I hope. Hey, Lauren, how's it going? Perry told me that you called me old. Be nice to Perry or called him old. Look, man, to me, 30 years old, ancient. That is so far in the future, I can't even see it. By the time I'm 30, we're gonna be on Mars, okay? That it, it is years away. But no, I'm, I'm kidding. I said happy birthday to him though. 30 is a big one. One more coat of paint. Oh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna give each of these plus three attack and kill my six six and heal the full HP while losing nothing? That would be crazy, wouldn't it? That that would be crazy. That would be that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. There's no way he gets that right. There's no way that he's able to. Oh, oh, that's just a card that fucking exists in Hearthstone. Sick. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, fantastic. He loses absolutely fucking nothing for this, by the way. Dude, there's no way. There's no way, dude. Reverb. Mortal Eradication. It's only a 4-4, but I'm not going to give this rush because it's really not worth it for a 4-4. Holy, <laughs> basically my 30th first thing was on the 16th. I'm joking, all of you guys. No, guys, 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 I was joking. You're not old, I swear. I'm doing everything I can to stay alive. How is this guy at full HP? He face tanked two giant taunt minions with his weapon. How are you still at full HP? Jesus Christ. How has this not been hotfix nerfed or like removed from the game for the time being? God. I didn't want to call for nerfs. I, di I really didn't, but oh my goodness. The just insane stats are pissing me off. Because it's not, it's it's one of the things like in League of Legends that also pisses me off when a champion just wins, not because, what the heck are you doing? I mean, I wipe this board, right? One, two, three, and I heal up four. Shit, I don't kill it. Oh my God, this still lives. No, 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 no. I can't believe I just did that. I have to do this then. Well, I do full wipe, I guess. It is a full wipe, but it's still frustrating. Holy shit! I mean, none of his minions are currently pumped, right? So actually his hand is pretty small. 
Most of his buffed cards are gone. He's already played the minion and he's already played both of those minions and the other. That's a really weak turn. Of course you draw the weapon. I mean, he only has two cards in hand, so this is still very, very winnable. Okay, very winnable. See what you give me first. Um, ooh. My hand is too full for you, but I really like you. It might have to be a geode, though, for card draw. I think it has to be the geode for card draw. Oh, I hate it, but I think it has to be. Um, yes, please, on the Sargeras. Uh, yes, I like that a lot. We're gonna play you. We're going to get maybe Glacial Shard, actually, to just freeze his face. Instead of Gul'dan's Gift. Because we already have good removal. Glacial Shard to freeze his face would go crazy. It would go crazy here, right? I mean, Gul'dan's Gift is good too, though, with like a Siphon Soul or just flexibility. No, we'll go with the flexibility here. And then we'll play another minion. We take some damage, but it's okay. Life Steal's huge. Look, your hand is so small. Just don't kill me. Let me get infinite taunt minions and kill your ass. God. Leroy incoming? Don't say that. Don't say that. Please don't let Leroy be incoming. I'm going to lose my mind. <sighs> I think I win, though. I think this is one of the rare instances where I was able to beat Paladin. And this is a great final game. This is a great game to end on. I, I already said it was going to be my last game. And let me tell you, if I lose, I will be very sad. Actually. Oh. Ah, Reno's not bad. There's a card that exists in the game. The card's still all right. Reporting for at now. Endless taunt minions. I don't think that I get endless taunt minions and he can kill Sargeras. I don't think that he's able to do both of those things. So I am going to infinite taunt minions this shit. No. It might have to be suck. You're probably wondering why is it suck this turn? And the reason is because if I leave a minion on the board, I'm gonna die. That's just the way that it is. That's just the way, that's just the way that Paladin works. If I leave a minion on the board, he's gonna pump it, give it plus three attack and lifesteal, divine shield and wind fury, and I'm gonna take minimum 14 damage next turn, assuming he doesn't have other pumps. Now the only way I lose is to like a Leroy. At least, at least I've minimized the opportunity that he has to win. Woo! Music to my no! More? I don't want to deal with it again. God damn. Leroy isn't, shut up. He's not incoming. Shut up, everybody. Stop typing Leroy incoming. You're going to make me, you're going to make me lose my mind. Okay. Uh, this doesn't really do anything at this point. Make sure they have permanent taunt, burn his cards, play this. Do I life tap? I mean, I have enough mana to play pretty much everything. I'll life tap. Taunt minions. This kills that. This seems weird that I'm not using it for a better. C oh my gosh. Get fucking Rust Rot Viper, idiot. Get Rust Rot Viper. This is why I run the card. Fuck you. Oh my gosh. This feels so good. It feels so good to. <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of myself. Oh, you don't have a weapon to draw. You drew both of them over. I destroyed it. Fuck you. Get wrecked. Nothing you can do can stop me. God, I'm the best player. I've made the best deck. Okay, no. But I made a deck that can actually do well against Paladin and Hunter, and it feels amazing to not lose on repeat to those classes. Yes, it's less greedy, and it might lose some of the slower matchups, but oh God, does it feel much better against Hunter and Paladin. Drink water? Yes, sir.
that he will fuck himself. This version of the deck ended up going seven and three with this version where we stacked the early game a little bit with more draw and a little bit more removal. Uh, it ended up, like I said, going seven and three with this version. Version fucking 12. <laughs> but this version, I liked it. It went seven and three. It felt really good at the end there. It played against some paladins. I did lose to a hunter, but I beat this paladin. I beat this paladin. I beat a hunter. I lost to a death knight, which was interesting, but yeah, it's felt pretty good actually. Global win rate? I don't remember. I, I've changed it so many different times. I clone the decks when I make a new version, and then I delete the old version, so that way it doesn't mess up my, my, my stats and my Hearthstone deck tracker, so it isn't like, oh, do you mean this deck? Do you mean this deck? Do you mean this deck? I just delete the stats. Like, I, I didn't delete version 1.3, but I usually delete... So what I do is I, I go boop, I go clone, and then I clone the selected version, and then I just keep going from there, basically. I mean, I tried a lot of different... The first variation that I used, I did not climb with. I lost my first, like, six games because... Let me, let, me, uh, let me show you what it was real quick, if I can find it. This isn't it. This is another version that I ended up using. But, like, as you can see, they run a lot of really slow... Like, Zilliax is way too slow. Um, Dark Alley Pact and Putrid, way too slow. Loken, way too slow. You're, like... When you play Dark Alley Pact on curve, assuming that you're playing Forge of Wills on turn three, the highest that this can be if you're going second with the coin is a 6-6, six, six, which really is not that big. A four mana 6-6 six, six is not worth running this card. So I took out several of those cards as well as like one other thing because um, and put in Elemental Geode for more card draw to find more removal, the tentacle so that way I'm able to fight for the board a little bit more with the battle cry. I put in reverberations specifically to help me beat Paladin and their giant minions, sometimes taking them for myself. And with the one other one, which was what Putrid was, I put in Rustrop Viper to again help me against Rogue and Paladin and even Hunter to some extent. Um, so it fe it's felt very, very good, actually, this, this version of the deck. I think that making it faster has helped it and Wheel of Death is a good win condition into slower matchups, but into faster matchups, you're never going to be playing this anyway, so you might as well just front load your deck a second hellfire although this deck actually ran two hellfires but uh no hands version didn't but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i enjoyed playing this deck quite a bit i'll be making a video on it relatively soon but yeah this was fun I'm, I'm excited to see where the meta goes and by the time i post it who knows maybe maybe paladin and hunter will be nerfed i don't i don't know um but we'll be playing i think druid tomorrow as well as maybe some lich king death knight whatever but I might also have plans tomorrow, so we will see. I have a friend from college coming, but I don't know if she's coming. She's either coming on Saturday or Sunday. I still don't know. She has to text my fiance. Um, but yeah, we'll see. It's just as good, if not better, than Anubis on turn four, depending on draw. It's literally worse. <laughs> this minion being a consistent 7-7. Seven, seven, like, okay, let's say you're going first, right? You start with three cards. You go to four, five, six, seven. Or sorry, you go turn one, two, three, four. Right? You've played no cards and you went first. You play it, it is a 6-6 six, six minion. On turn four, it is worse than the imposing Anubiseth every single time. If you played the the um, Forge of Wills, turn seven, you play it. It is a 5-5 five, five that is not nearly strong enough. And the early game is literally the only thing that matters. If you summon a four mana 8-8 eight, eight later on in the game, it doesn't fucking matter. You need to have those consistent stats. And sometimes the 1-1 one, one stats that are better, even though it can't attack, is enough to make it worth it, especially if you have the forge of wills and that doesn't even include potentially playing so you've played the forge maybe you play the harp for early removal 
or early healing. You have to play a Thorn Veil Tentacle to potentially kill off an early minion because they're starting to flood the board. Now, when you play the card, it's going to be a 4-4, and at that point, you're playing a 4-mana 4-4, and it's fucking terrible. You're right. We do, we would tap on turns, so it would be it would increase the stats by one. But like, okay, you do two taps, and you play no other cards in that instance where you tap turn two and turn three, and you do nothing, and then you play it on four. It is better sometimes, but even then, that means you're doing nothing turn two and turn three, which means you're probably gonna lose anyway. You're probably just going to lose anyway if you're doing nothing. Like, turn three is either Forge of Wills or Hellfire against, like, Hunter. Turn two, you should play Tentacle pretty much every time you have it. Turn one is usually Fracking, which does replace itself, but also a Harp to pay potentially set up healing. And in the matchups where you can make it an 8-8, it doesn't really matter. Because those matchups are so slow, you'll probably win with Wheel of Death anyway. Like... The problem is the other card is just not consistent enough. I would rather have a 7-7 seven, seven every single time rather than something that's between a 5-5 five, five and an 8-8 eight, eight, but is usually about a 5 or a 6, right? Like if on average it is a 6-6 six, six, but it can be higher, I would rather have a guaranteed 7-7 seven, seven because that 1 HP can matter a lot. Like, it can matter a lot. Like, a 6-6, six, six, right? Like, let's just say we a 6-6. Six, six. The 6-6 six, six would die to the 4-1 and then two 1-1 one, one snakes hitting into it. Boom. The 6-6 six, six would die. But the 7-7 seven, seven would live. And that might not sound like a big deal, but it is a massive deal. And that's just one instance where it that 1 HP matters a lot. But I'm saying tapping on turn two a lot of the times isn't gonna, like, how can I go? It's just so inconsistent. And then later on in the game, like, I would rather have, I mean, arguably you could say take this out for Forge, I guess. But like, I still don't think it's better. I still don't think it's better. Because again, Turn three, you are probably, okay, so, okay, you start with, you're going, let's say you're going second then, so you have extra cards in your hand, but you have like five at that point, you do nothing, and then you life tap on turn two, so you get two cards, then turn three, uh, if you're going, if you do nothing the first three turns other than life tap, and then you play, it's a nine nine, which is good, that is better, obviously, but if you're going first, it is so much worse. Because if you're going first, it's already an 8-8, eight, eight, and that's assuming that you don't play anything on turn 3. I just don't think it's better. Most of the times that I've played it, if you go back in the stream, it was a 6-6. Six, six. I don't know how or why, but very frequently it has been a 6-6 six, six or smaller. The spell doesn't hurt the legendary that makes a taunt. I mean, that's true too, but there are already enough small minions with this, 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 and this that I'm already not going to be running Loken anyway. It just doesn't make sense. And also, in some aggro matchups, you don't even want to life tap on turn two because against especially Hunter, you it gets you closer to dying. So you don't life tap unless you've already played the harp on turn one. And if you played the harp on turn one, then you already have one less card in your hand also. So it'll again be a six, six, if not smaller, if you're going first, like if I'm playing against a hunter, I'm, unless I'm on autopilot, I'm probably not pressing the hero power button unless I have like in this situation, I have the harp, but turn two. I play the Veil. Turn three, I play Mortal Coil. And at this point, if I, I'm, first of all, I'm going second, but in this case, if let's say, I don't think I draw the seven, seven, maybe I do. Okay, but like hypothetically, if I drew it here, right? It would be a five, five, which is way smaller than a four or a seven, seven, which is very impactful.
That version wasn't the same, that's my bad. And like late game here, it's a 5-5 five five and this is a 7-7. Seven seven. Like late game, it's also kind of worse. Yes, you can attack, but you don't care about attacking. You just want giant taunt minions so that way they can't hit you in the face and kill you. Like that's the only thing that matters at the late game and late game it's worse also. But damage most of the time doesn't matter in this game or in this matchup, right? Like nine times out of 10, you are either winning with the wheel or infinite value from Sargeras or an early 15-15 or you're winning because of the early control. Very infrequently are you winning because of one giant 8-8 minion, especially when Hunter and Paladin can get bigger minions than that like a turn later. I will admit ETC is a little bit greedy, but I like him. Geode is also questionable. You, It's a minion on, the, it basically is a life tap, but it puts a minion on the board that can kill off the early 2-2 two -two or early, you know, 4-1 that, that a um, hunter plays or that a paladin plays. You need the pressure on board. Like if you don't have that pressure on board, you are going to get overrun. Again, when paladin and hunter get nerfed, Taking out several of these cards, going for that greedier strategy that revolves a little bit more around big stats, I think you are right, will be better. But I think right now with the speed of the meta, it's just not worth it. Like, yeah, you can take this out for Dark Alley Pact if you want. I just think this is more consistent and I'd rather have more consistency than the potential to high roll. What about the spell that revives a demon? Why would I run that? I've got like one demon. This isn't a demon, that is... I guess if you run that with Dark Alley Pact, sure, but like that seems very greedy. It's a two mana card, right? Endgame? It's fine. But yeah, I just I just don't think like I don't see why this is better. And like, okay, sure, I played this as a 7-7 seven, seven this turn on turn 4, which, by the way, I didn't play Forge of Wills first. If I had played Forge of Wills first, this would already be a 6-6, six, six, so it's already worse, even though I life-tapped on turn 2. And I life-tapped on turn 3. I guess I played a card, so that doesn't count. But like, after a life-tap, if I had had Forge of Wills, this is weaker. And it died the very next turn anyway, so like, the fact that it can attack is not really as important as you might think. What about this game? This game, I played a minion on turn four. If I hypothetically had it, it would be a one, two, three, four, five, six, six again. And that was after playing the Geode, which drew me two cards. In fact, running the Geode actually makes it better than just life tapping. You say the Geode's questionable, but running the Geode actually is an argument for Dark Alley Pack. Revive Sargeras to suck again. Wheel feels okay. Wheel feels interesting. I think that if the meta slow, like the main issue is just like Paladin and Hunter are so strong that everything feels weak. So I can't really gauge how strong decks are. But the literally having the Geode might make Dark Alley Pact better, but I don't know. But even then it's you like most of the meta, like Every single one of these that I've replayed, it's been a 7-7 seven, seven or a 6-6. Six, six. And like this game, where I did have the Anubiseth, let's just say it was in fact the other card, right? If it was the, 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 dude, why do I keep forgetting its name? Dark Alley Pact. If I played it here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I went second that turn or that game, it would be a 6-6 six, six here which is smaller, which I guess didn't end up mattering too much. And yes, I miss out on six damage going face, but I would rather survive and have this giant taunt minion he has to deal with than be able to attack again. 
Because he just concedes anyway, because I've got too much stuff on the board. Also, I don't think I really want to use that game. That game, they just conceded immediately. But you get the point. Like, it's... it's. I would rather have a consistent 7-7, seven, seven, especially when the game is so early focused. Like, if I'm spending turn one, turn two and turn three life tapping, I've already lost the game if it's against a Hunter or Paladin. There's nothing that I can do to come back if I've done nothing turn one and, or turn two, turn three. But, yeah. I'm going to get off. I'm going to start playing um, League of Legends now, actually. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe, depending on when my friend from college comes. But, sh again, she has to text us. Uh, and then I'm going to be playing League. I guess I won't turn off my uh, Twitch stream, but I will turn off my Hearthstone stream.